if you don't get me. Perfect. I like that. Perfect. We did it. Win. We. Perfect. You win. We saved the world. Yeah. I'm a member of stars. <laughs> I hated that victory one. Freaking Jill Valentine's worst. <laughs> She and just she just says I'm a member of stars. Literally, yeah. that's all she says. That's fucking terrible. <laughs> that sucks. Holy it, like, shit! One of her hyper combos that she's like a fireball or some shit. She literally turned into a fireball. Yeah, she I was like, what, the, what, what is fireball. this? <laughs> what is this? Why? Why would they choose Jill that? Jill Valentine. I've, you know how many you know how many times it's happened Resident Evil. You know how many times that would have been helpful in Resident Evil. <laughs> you know how yeah. many times that would have been helpful. <laughs> Yeah. Jill Valentine. Speaking of speaking of Jill Valentine, uh, pop on over to patreon.com slash the snark tank. There's nothing Jill Valentine related there at all. But uh, and, and get well, ad free access, early access to every episode. You know, I the love drill. you, you as much it. as I love Jill Valentine. If you do that, yeah, there you go. That's the that's the that's the common link. Uh, so a little there, so there's a lot that we should get into. Uh, but before Whew. we were talking, we were talking a little bit before the show started about. Because Derek apparently canceled his Spotify because Spotify Premium raised their price. Yeah, and now he's considering rejoining <laughs> because it's because it's apparently impossible, impossible to use. I haven't used Spotify free since like 2012 when I was working at Sears, so I, I can't even fathom how different it was. But I remember it being fine. That's what I. I, I remember. I remember the only thing that I couldn't do was like listen to songs in like an exact order like you could still right. have like a pl- but if you had like five songs on a playlist you could just play that playlist and you would basically be able to you you basically had control of what you were listening to i don't know what it is i don't know what yeah, the hell so it is I now think you can still do stuff like that to a certain extent right um the thing is okay so the ads are i think way more aggressive um the ads are way yeah, more they, aggressive uh, which is they beat you they, up you can only they will i think you can only and w- every hour you can only skip six songs hmm. so if you were trying to skim through things like say like me uh since i'm involved in music i i i'm kind of fucking around with a lot of stuff and listening to a lot of albums sometimes i'm skimming through shit you can't yeah you absolutely can't do that at all you can't well first of all you can't even select you can't even just listen to an album right like if you go on an artist it shuffles their entire catalog so if somebody drops oh. a new album you can't even listen to it and i was like oh this is completely unusable this is <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't remember that that was a thing, but apparently that's crazy. That's how it works. I don't know; it's that bad. It feel it's it's so shady, man. Like it's it's like a YouTube YouTube Premium. One of the options. It's like okay, if you can now close the video and just listen to the audio, that's an like why is that not just a default fucking option? Like why is that not just a, a feature that is always YouTube? But no, no they will. Put that behind a paywall. It's it's so fucking dirty. They'll do like, it. They'll like, do I'm it. specifically paying for it to not have ad- ads. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like it, it's specifically for that, not for that. It, it makes me mad that that's a a, a paywall. It, yeah, it's fucking- yeah. YouTube YouTube Premium and Spotify Premium are probably the only the only subscription services that I never even remotely consider cutting. Because I'm just like I'm not. I'm never going to be able to use these things otherwise. Yeah. Like I can't sit through. I can't sit through a million ads. YouTube Premium. YouTube Premium. To be fair, is actually pretty solid. Like there's like a lot of good shit about, and and the money does go to the people that you're watching. That's the that's money's nice. pretty good. If um, you if you break down the money, you see the premium. You're like, wow, that is a significant amount of money. Yeah, yeah, mm. it, it it works. I think, but but Spotify like. The thing is, like, I've considered going over to Apple Music because Apple Music does sound better. Like, it, like, you go over there and you compare the two. If you can listen to a song on Apple Music versus Spotify Premium or whatever, mm. like, it is, it does sound significantly better on Apple. Does it really? But I feel like, I, I feel like I haven't. Well, no, my it, my, it my, Apple, my iTunes music sounds pretty good. I've never compared, good. but that's interesting. It does. I should try I've, that. Co- I've compared it. I've compared it directly, and I notice it. I'm like, hmm, that does sound better. But like, does it sound so much better that I'm willing to go through? 11 to 12 years of history on Spotify to recreate my playlists. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> no, right. it's not. Uh, yeah, I didn't so, consider that. I didn't consider that. All the playlists that I have, yeah. 
dude i have so um, many i have so many songs on these playlists some of them that are just like just not even available elsewhere and it's just like you know what i know I'll, I'll, i know apple, I'll stay. i know apple's full of exclusive songs though like full of exclusive songs no you're like a title that. No, no, Apple. Apple has a bunch of exclusive no, songs. No, you're thinking of title. Remember, remember no, when, no, no. Uh, what is it, when Jay-Z was I like, know, I'm going to put Jay-Z all my stuff on, on title there. only. Like, oh, yeah? so fucking Good luck, shitty. dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how's that luck. going? So fucking shitty. How's Good title? I mean, he eventually put it on Spotify. Yeah, of he course. He put it on because, Spotify. People, of people, course. People, people, people were going to try to get his music. It's just that people come, he just was like, I can just make, I'm just not making money for no reason on the side. He was like, I can just make money by doing this because it's... It's dumb it's to just put, to, your, put money a, yeah. in one plate. Like it's like, why would you do that? You'd make money over here doing that other thing. Yeah. But Online of, ecosystem exclusivity is crazy. Yeah, it's, just it, it's insane. Pretty, it's pretty nuts. I, I hate that, and I can't. It is so. You know, we talk about like the Screen Actors Guild and the and the Writers Actor League or whatever the fuck they call themselves or whatever. You know, those people they're represented and they're always they're fighting and they're 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 getting things done. Uh, on the music side, nothing's happening at all. Or yeah. the the I, I will, let me tell you this: I haven't made a ton of streams, but let's just say I don't know. I've definitely let's just say like a, a 45, 50,000 streams on Spotify has landed me like. I don't know, twenty dollars or something. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, like music, music is dead, man. Music, music, making money from music like proper hasn't been a thing in like fifty years, dude. Yeah, it's it's one it of the things. It been, the, it's really the, not yeah. where we make the money. Yet. The balance of when you see like how much like well, just think about how much money they have to throw around uh, a Joe Rogan. Like he got hundreds of millions oh, of yeah. dollars. Uh, a Bill Simmons, he's another person that got hundreds of millions of dollars just podcasting. And they just refuse to just pay well, artists when well, they know easily. Why. Well, it's be, yes, it's because it's because why. of so many things, though. Like it's not it's not simply yeah, yeah. just them not paying artists. There's a lot it's of for, stuff that goes into it. It's for a multitude it. of reasons. It is because yeah. podcasts are long form and they keep people on the platform longer. That is also part of it. But like, then one is, particular artist does. Particular. Dude, it is it is crazy. It is crazy when you consider the fact that like they make so little money that I, I really think about this for a moment. The, some of the most famous acts in the world are still like people who were like big in the seventies are still touring. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. really can't imagine that they're touring because they want to. Oh, just <laughs> for the love of I, it, yeah, th- yeah, just for like, oh man, I love going from because at a certain point, dude, if you've been t- touring since the seventies, you're not seeing anything new anymore. Like you've seen the world. There's nothing left to see at that point. Every person like, I know no, that's toured hated you've it. You've met every single kind of person. You've met every single... You've seen every single culture. You've been to every single venue. Like, what is there left for you? Except maybe, like, maybe they're holding out hope that they can go to, like, North Korea or China and tour. Like, I don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> yeah. But, like, there's nothing left to see. So there's like, no way they're doing it because they love it. It's because right. it makes them money. It's because they have to because like they can't make money off streams. That is the they make money off the money concert tickets touring, and merch and merch sales touring at those where you concerts. One hundred percent. That's touring how you is where you make money. money. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's the, crazy. that's the only way as an artist. And if you're small, it is touring. Sometimes you have to even think like, oh, I don't think it's worth it because oh, it's yeah. so fucking expensive to tour. And so, it, it, trying to find that balance, man, it's it's so difficult. I'm gonna. I just logged into my. Uh, I use DistroKid. I'm using DistroKid. Like, uh, if I was just doing purely covers, I would use. Um, I think Jonathan Young turned me on to uh, Sound Somethings, Sound Drop. Uh, but that's like they specialize in doing covers, and uh, it's and it's free to upload to it. Uh, DistroKid just pay twenty bucks uh, a year or whatever. But I just want to show you total. Um, so in total, like after they take the money from me, they take their cut. I've been on DistroKid for three years. I have made $594. Like that's just now I, my numbers aren't extravagant, right? But the let's say there's my numbers that I do have. uh and the the little amount of money that I do have, it's still like the the ratio is 
is fucking insanity. Where, like, say, when you think about how many people have listened to these things, how many, like, say, uh, when people used to buy records, for example, mm -hmm. when you think about this many people listening to your records and how much money that would generate... And versus the streams, it's so fucking astronomically different. Now, yeah, the, the the labels would still take most of the money, but you would still get a little bit more. Well, depending, I guess, depending on what type of contract you had. But if you signed a 360, you'd have knew it not. If you oh, fuck no. You, no, fuck, no, 360 deals is fucking you're complete fucked. ass. The fact that they exist in general is crazy. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's so predatory, man. But yeah, I was just looking really like... Bad. But what happens um, is this, right? When, uh -huh. when somebody becomes famous as a musician, right? What happens is this. These are the things that go on, right? You become famous. What happens is a record label gives you X amount of dollars to be... They always give you less than what your song is worth. So happens they give you, like... If you have, a, like, a bang-up song, like Post Malone. He um he made White Iverson, White, uh, White Iverson right? Label gave him a million dollars. That was easily, like, a $5 million worth song. They gave him that. That's the money you get to, like, make yourself look fly... Move into a nice place, pay for studio time. You have to pay them back that money. Yeah, those so are that's advances. What happens. You have to pay you them sign, back that money. You sign and they give you an advance, and you have to yeah. make, you have to pay the money back. You pay them back that money. If you don't pay them back that money, you'll make your music until they you they get their money back on from you. Unless yeah, you know, they directly you know, like group sue like you. TLC, you know, you guys know TLC. Well, obviously, mm -hmm. you know TLC. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're completely broke. Like they're. Yeah. they're they had some of the biggest singles in R and B in the world, and they have absolutely no money. Just for just for an example, it's fucking crazy. That uh, that's why it's so much better to go independent, and hopefully, you can just open your uh, Patreon or something where the services work in the way that they take a small percentage and not the other way around. Like the record labels would take ninety percent, and then they would give you ten percent of like a sale. Like, all right, for each dollar, for each for each CD, you'll get like a dollar, and they'll kept, they'll keep most of it. And it's like, shouldn't it be the fucking opposite? What happens <laughs> like, is what that um, <laughs> what happened is that people crazy. learned that record labels hate that that happened, but people learned that. And through the conventional internet, like people like Joey Badass, one of my favorite rappers, he was independent until he signed a um he signed a collaborative deal with Sony. So now Fuck that yeah. him and Sony own um, Pro Era is owned by him. But whenever he makes an album, what you call it, um, Sony will help fund the album. You got to collab with Spider-Man, right? Huh? You got to collab with Spider-Man? No. I wish you did. That'd be fucking cool as shit. That'd be cool as shit. But then Taylor, so Swift, Taylor Swift, I hate, I'm not a big fan of Taylor Swift music at all. <laughs> I think she's the ultimate, she's the ultimate Nepo baby as an artist. But that girl's a genius. She's an absolute genius. Is she? she I, don't, I don't. She literally, some, her, um, a com uh, her old lady used to own her music. What she did was she re-recorded her whole entire catalog, all of it, independently. So now that she owns all of her music 100% now. That's not genius. That's just she has resources to do that. Although she has resources to do that, it's, it's still genius. It's still smart to do that. But she and all of us, it's her smart. Being, I, her, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say genius. It's, it's smart. That's, yeah. it's that's definitely fucking smart, smart as which fuck. Which artist was genius? No one, it's genius. <laughs> I'll tell you what genius is. Genius is Elton John writing all those like amazing songs back then and then coming back 20 years later to repackage them for an audience that has never heard them using like modern artists to do it. That's fucking smart as hell. I mean, he did, that with, considering he probably, he did that with one song. He made uh, one he did song. That with a few. He put three he songs into one song. Right, and it's fucking <laughs> brilliant, and they all work together, and it's like it's it's crazy. I was like, dang, especially Taylor, considering that's that guy's smart. like, uh, especially considering that guy's like that he's gay. He's like, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, gay. He especially gay. considering that he's gay. No, he's like, he's he like, how gay. old is that guy? How old is Elton John? He's got to be like in the seventies, sixty four. No way, I think he's in the sixty fucking four. Uh, he's seventy six. Uh, that's way older than uh, I thought. Uh, it's it's about ten years older than you thought. <laughs> it's, way older. <laughs> it's, it's about a but decade. It's, but, but it's crazy to yeah, think like she's like I'm recording my music and now she's like everybody listen to this version of my music. So now she gets all What's, of her money back. Yeah, and I'm how like, does that work though? Because isn't the, if, doesn't that register as like a cover of how now when it's done like, by the artist? As far as I'm concerned, so um, my all my right. friends were briefly in the industry, right? They they never dropped their album. They they recorded with Metal Blade. Shit fell apart, and they couldn't release those recordings those masters will act, uh, they belong to metal blade but they right. could have and which i told them to record the entire album independently and drop yes. it mm -hmm. the, the, fucking the guy my boy brandon 
did not do it and it has been this was back in 2010 i think to this day mm. hasn't fucking done it and i'm like you you are like i was like i love the dude but i'm like that is the dumbest fucking thing because literally they were the biggest band in that genre at the time and created other bands because of it like i was a part of it and then i left they got much bigger and he just didn't do like say like what taylor swift did um it's just one album it's just not like say taylor swift her catalog would be millions of dollars to record she has the resources to do it but it's like all right you can get a loan of like say thirty thousand dollars whatever chip in or whatever and record an album professionally because that's the problem if you want to get it done professionally especially back then the fucking mixing and mastering mastering alone it's so fucking expensive so now yeah. so now that we have the tools to do it ourselves and the quality is only only slightly off. Regular people don't notice the fucking difference. When I'm dropping music, people are like, wow, the, the quality is really good. And I'm like, I notice the flaws, but not really people on average. And I'm like, it's fucking good now. And then yeah. now it just, it's just ask so people money. to That's give so you money. That's so much money in her pocket all the time. Whenever That means whenever she tours, whenever she records, whenever it's on the ra- like all of that money is straight in her pocket. That's insane. Yeah, so now she can go and then she can go and uh, spend top, a lot man. of money. Now she can go and spend a lot of money on r- ruining the rest of her relationships <laughs> for content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, like, what is this? She, she was, she, uh, dude. Chill, she was man. with that guy. Do you know that the chill, band, the, man? The nineteen seventy five. I don't like her either, but chill. God, oh man, Haley. Damn. I don't even not like her. I don't even not like yeah. her. I just, I just, it's, it's. It's just such a predictable pattern that it's like annoying. It's it's like yeah. it's like the musical. It's like the music version of Leonardo DiCaprio dating people under twenty five. It's like okay, cool, we get <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We get it. This is what you do. I'm not even upset. I'm just like, do we have? Do I have to hear about it? Do I have to I hear need, about it constantly? Like I don't to, care. Yeah. <clears throat> other people need to catch up. They need to catch. They need to catch onto it. And she needs to go in a different route. But people aren't going to catch onto it. They just think they probably think that it's never her fault. Like she's not, what she's happens, not, she's not the bad apple the, her, in the relationship. Her, her demographic <laughs> is the it's dumbest annoying. demographic of 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 of, of consumers. It's no, teenage that, women. It's, no, they are the dumbest. They are the they're stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey man, I ain't trying. I ain't trying to have uh, the the Swifties the destroy our podcast. I'm not trying to have the Swifties. <laughs> my my dog was eaten by a pack of Swifties, and I don't want to. I don't want to trifle with those, no, I'm, those I'm people. Sorry, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to be. I'm sorry to be mean, but they're just they're stupid. They don't they don't understand that they grow up. Because my girlfriend was a Swiftie, and now she's like, oh my god, her music what? is so unbelievably stupid. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I I know. I'm glad you evolved to the point you can understand that. Here's do here's people, fire. Do, uh, do you think people are going to grow out of it? Yes, people grow, people grow out of everything like that. I don't think uh, people grow out of everything. She seems like an undeniable force right now. I think right it's now, more about right now I because of how many teenage the, women there are. Well, she's always been on. She's been on on top for such a long time. I mean, remember the whole Kanye thing? That was 2009. She wasn't it's, on top then, really. Uh, the Kanye music thing made her then. way more didn't popular. Didn't her music win the best thing? That's the reason why he was mad in the first place. That's she when had, you're on. That best, means you're on she top. She had best sir. time out. She had when best song. Best, she had best song. Right. She had best and video, then, didn't she? Not, but she wasn't on top. That the year, video, Beyonce whatever. was on top. But say, the, the fact but that you listen, even do listen, that. Listen, you're right. She has been popular for a long time. But yes. the Kanye and thing it's only grown. shot her into the stratosphere. I, I think because in your you world. cried about it. I think <laughs> in your did. world, but not look, in look, the teenage look, 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 white girl accept, world. She's always been on top for them. Look, I, I, I accept yeah, she's, she's, Taylor she's Swift. I accept Taylor Swift, whatever. That's fine. It's It's... In in if you compare Taylor Swift to a lot of other things that are that are going on in music right now, like honestly, like whatever, I'm 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 fine with it because I see, I don't know, I, I don't mean so, I, so this is obviously something that we shouldn't pick on, right? Because we're clearly not the demographic for it, and it's clearly just I'm a young person. It's clearly just a young person writing f- very first draft songs, and that's fine. But like. Olivia Rodrigo's songs are fucking horrible. Like they're I, her I songs are all horrible. I, she sounds like, horrible. It's it's cr- her it's background wild. music is horrible. Her like, instrumentals are horrible. Okay. I, 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 I don't even hate her. I'm, Shut dude, the fuck up. She's look, terrible, say, Derek. She's no, not. let me let me just say this. Let me just say let me just say this. I'm not talking about like musically. <laughs> I think musically, as far as like like. Like me- melodically and instrumentation, like whatever, that's fine. But like the second, it's like not. the words come in, it's like, oh my god, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're this is so garbage, bad. But it's obviously like a nineteen-year-old fucking. It's obviously like a nineteen-year-old with a first draft. 
who like is surrounded by people who aren't going to be like, hey, maybe that, maybe that's not good. Uh, that is, but it doesn't matter because people are going to being yeah. churned out right now. Like yeah, no yeah, it, it's, revisions. It's like, <laughs> just yeah, hundred percent. Put it out it, there. It's it's like that song that we were talking about like a couple of episodes ago. The fucking I'm good and I'm feeling and I'm all right. Feeling all like, right. No and... way. That's the best. Like, come on, dude. Like that's a great <laughs> melody. Surely you can come up with something else. Surely there is there's a, an infinite amount of ways to iterate on that melody in, in an interesting way i'm good and i'm feeling all right is, is the best you had no way no yeah. way that was a that was a first draft and you know it i don't, even know, if they, <laughs> I don't know if it was a first draft even i don't know if they wrote it down they probably just like improvised it in the booth and we're like that's pretty good 100 um, i actually hey. I, have, <laughs> I have a memory i have a memory of that uh oh i was in this metal band and the the singer did not write lyrics all he did was, while we were recording, because I was doing some backups, there was a Little Caesars pizza box. And he wrote, like, three words or something. And then everything else, it was it was the most disorganized piece of shit ever. But it, no, no, if you're just not really paying attention, it, it worked. It, it worked, but me, as an artist, I'm thinking, this is so fucking stupid. This is so unprofessional. This is so shitty. And that blue song or whatever, I'm good. It's one of those things where you're like, I can't think of anything good right now. I'm going to put it to the side. But these dickheads just force their way through. They're like, no, we need to get it done so we can get paid. And it's not going to sound good at all. It's not going to even going to be. It's only catchy because this is so recognizable. It's such an iconic melody. It is, it's so it's so much bullshit. But I want to go to that. Olivia Rodrigo, like, okay, I want, I want, because like, it's an indoor defense. She has a good voice, not great singing live. I think studio, uh, obviously, it's cleaned up quite a bit, but like, there's that, what was that, driver's license song? She, she don't sound no, like don't shit know. in that song. It's like the, it was it's like, not, I think. It's, it's less about how she sounds and more about just the words, literally. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think like, she sounds good at all, bro. She totally, um, you, someone you can't said tell, she sounds okay. like, someone said she's like the new she Jason Hayley Williams, and I called them the N word. No, that's crazy. On Twitter. No, yeah, it's not, on she's Twitter not Haley Williams. She's not Haley Williams. That's but I mean, she's, I she's I lost You know mind. why they said that? You know why they said that? Because they had to give uh, Olivia Rodrigo had to give uh, writing um, credits Paramore for her best song for because yeah. that song "Good for You." That song "Good for You" yeah. was one billion percent just a rip off of Misery Business, and so to the point where it's like, oh yeah, yeah, you got you caught us, which is yeah, yeah. These fucking slimy pieces of shit that do this. All that they steal shit and hoping that like oh we're gonna get away with this like um who's that bitch uh dual dual lip I just found out that she's uh she's British I had no idea yeah. she's very British I had, well, her music doesn't sound British or like that she ruins doesn't, like, a have lot any... for me there's yeah that's right. why she worked with Elton John well a lot of people work with that, this fucking Eminem ta- British that's why she worked about? with Elton John well no yeah, but that, that was no that she she no 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 she's her, she's <laughs> his <laughs> under wait time Most time out time out dummy time out 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 no look guys look I get I get it I get it I get it I get it okay she's his understudy she's understudy that's like that's like why she became you famous she studied under him up to the music you you uh i can't I, <laughs> <laughs> the moment no you cap, won't is, you better and never no. let it go you only no got little that's shots that is, you that not miss your chance to so blow. <laughs> what were you saying yeah yeah, yeah. that's why they collab <laughs> together so often they look up so often because yeah, she's yeah. an understudy actually i need boobs Moonlight, yeah, she uh, some so whoever wrote that song, they completely ripped that song off from some reggae some, some people. Other, some other random person. Some, you know what's some, crazy? I heard I heard about that when I was in San Francisco, <laughs> and I think I met the guy that met the, made that original song. That's hilarious. Because we literally were in San Francisco, like on like seething? in some guy's Uber, some guy's <laughs> Uber. He was in talking a about how like. <laughs> No, I swear, swear, swear on my life. We were in some guy's Uber, and he was talking about how like I he he either was a part of the person that helped write that song or knew the person that helped write that song. He's just driving this. I can believe that. And I was just like, oh, I was like, really? I was like, this is bullshit. He's not serious, right? Come to find out, she got sued for it and lost because she literally stole somebody's song. And I was like, dude, there's a lot of. I mean, there's a lot of instances. (laughs) There's a lot of instances of that happening where it's like. I don't know, because because on some level, like, dude, there's only so many chords. There's only so many notes that go together in a certain order that sound right. Like, I could believe certain 
things happen just completely just out of sheer coincidence, right? But then you have stuff like the one that was most most egregious to me was um I can't remember what the band was called. I think it was like Saxton or something. I, I don't remember what the hell it was called. But they had a song uh that ripped off Rob Thomas's Lonely No More in like a way that was oh, re- yeah. like like in the in a way that was like jarring like like jarringly brazen i can't remember what the fuck the song was but if you look right. up lonely no more rip off it'll it'll show up because it was so, right. it was so it was so insane uh i think people but that see was like, sampling that was the first time i was like, like that- i'll sample the lyrics <laughs> and it's like <laughs> no don't do that That's don't the sample these lyrics. fucking weasels are just trying to get away with not paying any royalties well you can, even, you can even sample you, lyrics but like don't you, sample yeah, a whole you have verse to pay for it that is the difference they, they they're just trying to get away with paying because you like say in hip-hop and in r&b they sampled all i mean that was there would be no fucking uh puff daddy you know because there'd that be was, no kanye man there, there'd yeah, be no exactly, kanye without sampling. exactly. They're, they're just they're sample machines there'd be no dre there'd but be no fucking, there'd be like all those there'd be but no they, gotta clear it. they gotta clear it and then so instead of these fucking pieces of shit we'll try to be like Oh, it's changed just enough, and a lot of times it's not. Uh, like freaking the worst one is Vanilla Ice with Under Pressure from that's Queen. Oh yeah, stupid. That one that's is just, crazy. Just, that that, that is, that, <laughs> yo. That was when I saw that whole thing because obviously we were we were too. You might have been able to just barely see it, Derek. But me and Chris were clearly too young to understand when I was going on. Uh-huh. But like when that when I watched the whole video about him being like it's dun 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 the, dun, the dun, 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 dun 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 and it yeah. does the same thing but for um there's one it's one step behind stay yeah. free, um, what you call it uh, under pressure and i'm like dog that's the same thing except for one note it is one note the explanation behind. was crazy it, that, that, that is was, copying it it's comical it, it sounds like that satire. Was the cr- it was the it same thing it sounds like thing. satire it was the same <laughs> It really like, oh, was this, is, this is clearly like a Spinal Tap spoof thing, right? You guys are you're, you're pulling you're pulling my dick. There's no way you think you you think you're actually saying something clever right now. Um, I hate, but Vanilla Ice is also one of the worst people put in music of all. Time. He's he's like the. That's why people didn't like M at first because of people like Vanilla Ice because they thought he was another one of them, which he he Ice was one of them. He was the industry plan. Yeah, it's like Ice, Bieber Ice is. It's like fucking, Ice was absolutely of, like an industry plan. This is like Bieber like, was, just like, uh, just like uh, Asher Roth was, just like fucking Macklemore was. Asher Roth yeah, was not yeah. an industry plant. He, he was fucking, absolutely he was industry, fucking, he was, he was, I, I like Asher Roth. I really no, like Asher Roth. No, he Roth. fucking wasn't. He, he was an industry. He was absolutely nope. industry plant. Bro, I grew that's why up in MySpace. The way he, did. he fucking blew up MySpace like Kid Cudi, like fucking like, uh, like Lady Gaga. Like he, he was fucking absolutely MySpace. One billion percent. One some, billion percent. They're like, oh, this guy's pretty decent. And they grab and drop. And then Ash Rob didn't like the music he was dude, trying to he make. He fucking built his audience on MySpace. No, no, no. Can, what, that is not finish. an industry then, plant. You're completely wrong then, about that. And then he was the music they were trying to make him make longer than he wanted to make. He didn't want to do it. Because I still listen that's to Ash Rob. That's makes not music. an industry plant, though. He that's, still that's makes not, music. No, an industry he plant like, is so, you're groomed. You are nothing. And then you are all of a sudden you explode onto the scene. They're like, who the fuck right. is this person? Like he was okay. his his growth was organic, and then he made um the fucking the sleep of the bread aisle, which was you know it was it was like uh, whatever. He like, made his for- first album, people liked it. It was it was white boy it was white boy tra- frat music, and then he was like I but don't want to do this anymore. It was actually, I really like it was actually very it was very diverse, and I think that was actually the problem. He no, had not his fucking, nice first album. His first album was yes, it was it was what they wanted. Sorry, Dude, he had a maybe dance his song first album after Green. he got popular. Maybe after he got popular. He had a dance song with CeeLo Green, which is not fucking frat boy music at all. Like it, it's very diverse. He had a song that where he's trying to be more grounded, like uh, where he's trying to be like trying to get out of Eminem's shadow called "As I Am." He had, of course, the Isle of College. You're just thinking of that college song, and that's it. Was a very because the, because fucking, the, I, um, "Lark on My Go Kart," which is one of his uh, most popular songs, which is a MySpace song. song. Like, I'm, bro, I know I know Asher Rob, bro. <laughs> like, like you're fucking because you're I remember, I remember his which, I remember his first album coming out. At least the first album after he got popular. It might have been after he got popular. Let me let me paraphrase that because he came out and he had short. Short hair first, and then we would made his next album when he had his long hair. He had his long brown hair, and he was like, "I do not like what I'm making. This is Shit. not good music." I think that was his album. That is like not tw- good music. I think that was <laughs> his like 2014, dude. I think he didn't put out a second out. I don't think he put out a. He didn't do any follow ups until he was, was independent and he had long hair. 
where he was all like I know he uh, came back and made another song that was popular too but it wasn't as popular uh, maybe you're right about that but I think the song you're, I think the album you're thinking about where it had that song like Fast Life on it it might have been Fast was that the was that the popular song let me see no the one that we're talking about it doesn't fucking matter it doesn't fucking matter we're talking about Asher Roth he, he's, he's gay we're, talking, we're talking about <laughs> my disrespect is Asher Roth but that's why people didn't like certain artists they were like oh these artists show up out of nowhere and they're all of a yeah. sudden extremely popular when and everybody do, thought Eminem right? was going to be one of them but M was actually they show up at, they, sometimes they show up out of nowhere just, well sometimes people show up out of nowhere ahead. like like uh, <laughs> like like uh, YouTubers brilliant, showing up out of nowhere uh, outside of people's houses. Uh, oh, God, God damn it! That was, that was uh, way too smooth, uh, dude. That was too smooth. I, I, was, I was, I was, I was waiting. I was, I was waiting. <laughs> I, was, I, was I wasn't even gonna bring this up. I was way too smooth. I wasn't even gonna we bring this bring, one up. How are we today? not gonna bring like, it up? We had, so we had, so d- a, dude, look, we we had Jax Films on the bring podcast. Up literally the entire internet. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, we had Jax Films on the podcast. Not even like what, like a week and a half ago, probably like le- two weeks max. Uh, Something like that, yeah. and it was it was before all this shit went down. We brought up Sniper Wolf a little bit, obviously, because it, it was like a a meme that was going on. Uh, so we brought up Sniper Wolf. We didn't spend more than like I think two minutes of that two hours talking about Sniper Wolf at all. Uh, but I think the day after we posted that video, the day after we posted the the episode live for everybody, this crazy shit went down where Sniper Wolf just showed up outside of jack's fucking house and literally a day after she, like tweet like it, i think she instagram like she <laughs> she posted a photo of his house on her instagram which is crazy and i i don't even know how to fucking respond i don't even know how to i have no idea how to even talk about this because it's so crazy and so out of pocket apparently this isn't even her first time doing shit that's this outrageous apparently apparently she has like a criminal record which is awesome uh i know there's a mugshot the, but i don't know for what yeah i don't know i don't know what for it's so yeah. funny just the, the this she i mean it's it's not funny it's obviously really fucking scary but it's also like it's <laughs> it's to me it's like you really just showed up outside of some dude's house and claimed that they were obsessed with you. What it, is that, going on? <laughs> That's what's so. Uh, what what's what's made me so flabbergasted <sighs> is that very. I just I don't okay I know I know I I don't I'm not I don't know that much about Sniper Wolf I just know that she was the uh, back in the day people were shitting on her because she was pretending to do let's plays or whatever and then she clearly wasn't playing um obviously the free booting stuff just i don't know that much i honestly had no idea how popular she was like when i saw her numbers her numbers on youtube and then knowing how much she was um followed on instagram i didn't know because she's never in my radar other than you know people talking about all this free booting shit she uh, was the original e-girl Right, she's one, right. Not original. She's one of the originals. But was, I guess made the most popular. I guess <laughs> she's um, one of the first ones. Dude, I, I don't understand how you could have <clears throat> that large of an audience. And I mean this, and I mean this. I don't. I'm really mean and, and not understand the type of power you wield. That this is so astronomically stupid to do. I don't understand, and. The fact that she doesn't care even slightly is is so. It's actually it really is on the because we like to throw out psychotic and you know and sociopathic and shit like that. We kind of just label people, but like legitimately, I was perplexed thinking, oh maybe she's at least gonna try to apologize and be like, oh yeah, I fucked up. Like that that was too far. But the saying no, I'm the victim. And also making light of it by walking with her sister. I found out that was her sister in that picture where she was saying, like, whose house we going? Oh, wait, oh, we show up to your house. What you do? And, like, just making light of the whole fucking situation. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, bro, like, do you not understand how many fucking simps are, follow you? I that, think like, what you happens have, this is... This guy's your enemy, right? So <sighs> now you showed his house. Uh, I mean, do I need to say anything else? Like, the implications happens, like, everything there. Everything else is, like, every... They don't understand. I, mean, I don't think they get it. And like, and I understand that's a negligence because for me, I thought I genuinely, 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 at first I was like, oh, she's just being stupid. She's stupid and she doesn't understand what she did. Because I think that's what it always is. I think people in, in this field just don't understand. 
We don't get how much power we have, and then we do something dumb. And instead of her being a mature enough to be like, yo, that was dumb. That was stupid. My bad. Like, I didn't, I, that was really fucking idiotic. And she's being too prideful to say that. As long as she has to say it, she's like, I made a really dumb mistake. I did not, I, I was too busy in the bullshit of understanding that, like, I was annoyed by you making fun of my content that I did this. That's it. Because that's what she, that's clearly what it looks like happened. I don't think she yeah. wanted this. In, I don't think she was trying to be truly insidious and have one of her fucking her her loose egg jo- people come there and hurt Jack. I think she just did something really stupid, and instead of being mature about it, she's I'm not on the fence of that. I I because that my initial was my initial the latter that my initial um or the former I guess that's my initial thought right that she's just a colossal idiot, uh, which I think is still true. She's obviously stupid, but what I mean is there's a part of me that <clears throat> it's just. Even her, like, I just you, God, you have to be sh- it, it, this the level of stupidity to even be like, and to allow to let everybody know, like, oh, all you have to do is Google and you can easily find his address. Even saying things like that, I said this on the podcast one time where Joe Rogan had on this dude that was trying to talk about child sex trafficking and all that shit, and then he put out some information that I thought was. To you know, millions and millions of people, and it, let's say you, Joe Rogan, listen. Uh, there's there's so many listeners. There's gonna be a small percentage of like fucked up people listening, and so it's like things to take into consideration. Where the dude like let people know how cheap it was to buy a kid in Thailand, and putting that information out there is kind of fucked up to do because you now just unearth shit that a lot of people some they don't they didn't think about it until that very moment they're like oh wow that <clears throat> is cheap i'm a fucking pervert all i got to do is save for a few months and now i'm going to go to fucking thailand and in a way that say when you say something like this so it's like even if it is completely ignorant yeah it's it's fucking nuts like you should have that where you should know that i i have 30 million people following me on youtube there's gonna be a few crazy motherfuckers that will do my there's bidding gonna be some fucking bad eggs yeah but like, like it's I, cra- I think it's i i think it's a situation yeah, ahead, where she just she just because she was i think she's uh one of she was recently shouted out by youtube themselves like specifically yes. she was um and i remember yeah, there was like a, a big hubbub about that so she has yeah. she had a panel i think at vidcon or something or she has one coming mm-hmm. i don't know I don't, I don't know exactly the specifics but she is in there you know to the point where there's no way that youtube can argue that they haven't seen this right they, right. Do, they know this is happening uh and yet there's nothing's been done and i think nothing's been done because she knows nothing will be done because she has i don't know if it's necessarily an amount of power i don't think she has power over anybody but she has enough influence to not worry about suffering the 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 consequences of acting this irresponsibly with her platform because it's fucking insane i would never in a million years Go to somebody's house who is criticizing me and then tweet or Instagram their house out to my followers. And I'm not even remotely <laughs> as big as this person. That's yeah. like the yeah. la- that that is such an obvious like line that you do not cross to the point where I don't know if it's just ignorance because it's she's too old. How old is Sniper Wolf, dude? Like she's she can't be. And she's also like, and the thing the thing the thing to understand about it too is that she's also like huge and famous and a woman. So you would imagine that she of all people would kind of understand like the just basic desire to not have your private whereabouts just tweeted out by a fucking enemy. Right. Like, that's, I, I don't I don't buy I don't buy that it's just ignorance, man. It's that's that's so out of pocket. I feel like it has. I feel like it genuinely. I feel like it. She's it thirty. Has to be ignorance. But how could like say? I feel like it has to be ignorance. I feel like so it just has to be stupid. So do you think that she would feel like if this happened to her? Like let, let's say, let's say. Oh if, no, if, no 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 no. But that's what well, I mean. If, like if it I, happened, I think if it she's aware to her, enough. If it happened to her, uh, what happens is she's obviously, aware enough of how uh, fucked up it is for this to happen. No like, no, I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. it but I think it's just to. Do, I just I really 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 don't think. That creators in general, in a, in, a, in a general sense, have an understanding of the amount of people they have following them. Period. No, no you're right about that. And but I th- think this that is, is the case of what happened. But like, it's like, how often do you see this happen? 
the how creators often do dumb do you shit see, all the time. No, they do. They're no, we're talking them. about this specifically. This how specifically, often, this specific one, This is like one, one no, thing that obviously. you see. This is like the Jake Pauls, the Logans, the whomever don't typically... Oh, fuck. Um, um, uh, Jake Paul was beefing with um, FaZe Banks. He did some really fucked up shit to where he like got his assistant to be like, oh, he beat me up or some shit. That's some illegal shit, right? That's some crazy shit. But at the very least, motherfuckers weren't showing up to their house and being like, this is where this piece of shit lives or whatever. Oh, oh, I just want to talk to this dude. I just, I just want to have some words. Like even her fucking language and then her sister... Her sister was just making jokes, saying things like, oh, does this dude not know how to fight or whatever? Like, just they're just fucking trifling. It was obviously that that was, you know, we, we can <laughs> all trifling. Oh my God. We can all agree that her saying I just wanted to talk it was on the same level of uh, on To Catch a Predator. There was a dude that got caught twice within 24 hours. Like the second time they Doing caught him was rounds, in front of a bro. McDonald's and the dude's excuse was just saying i was just getting something to eat that was his excuse and it's just as poor as her saying i wanted to talk who the fuck like look i would even give her the benefit of the doubt if she didn't stream or take pictures if she just showed up to jack's house and like that would be weird enough but i can at least give her the benefit of the doubt like oh she's crazy but maybe she literally did want to she's one of those in-person people even that right, would be yeah. hard to believe, but I would at least give her a window, a little. Uh, maybe she was actually trying to squash the beef, but no, no. She's like, oh, I'm going to pull up with uh, with my five mil, five mil. Niggas don't understand how much five mil. <laughs> that's a lot of fucking people. That's a lot. That's a lot I have, of I have 20K. People, I have 20K man. on Instagram. To me, 20K is like, wait, that's imagine 20K. Like, you go to an arena. Arena holds like 14 to 18,000 people. It's a lot of fucking people, dude, when you just look around. Yeah. I can't imagine being surrounded by 5 million fucking people. So now, now all of them see that at once. They all see this guy. Oh, this is the guy that's been running his mouth. And to your point, Chris, the reason why Jack started criticizing criticizing her was because YouTube was showing her off as the go as the golden calf or the golden goose or whatever. Right. Like yeah. the, when 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 they recognized when they found that out, people were like, what the fuck is this shit? And then he started kind of going hard in the paint. And people, and I want to say this, people were trying to say that, oh, what he's doing is creepy. I I disagree because of the actual if he was just making a thousand videos like the quartering, I would agree. I'd be like, all right, dude's kind of going and he's being at least doing Brie Larson. But there was a point to what he was doing. He was crediting right. people. He was there was a point to yeah, him was making actually, these videos. Yeah, yeah, he was literally helping people who like got their content stolen from this person to like be able to file file claims or whatever to get their to get their their stuff removed from that video or just to get money from it in in uh, the the YouTube bad space system. So like, there's actually like a reason to be doing this beyond just being a troll. It is like a, right. a meme for sure. Like the fact, dude, Jigga Jack's film is, 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 such a, is such an awesome. <laughs> first of all, he's been doing this forever. Like Jack's been doing satire on YouTube for the longest time, and it's literally no, like time. he's so clearly not an ill will person. Like he's not doing this just to like harass a person and to make them feel unsafe. You are stealing constantly. And so, yeah, that's going to draw criticism. And when somebody who's big enough to actually criticize you with and actually affect you, when that happens, that's probably going to bother you. But that's not harassment. Right. You are not the victim here. You've stolen. You've stolen people's <laughs> intellectual property, profited off of it, and you've doxed a person. In what reality are you a victim of any kind? It's insane. It's it's right. it's maddening how how off base that assessment of reality is it's crazy right but she also she also that's said what's happening she also said that she doesn't know how to dox somebody so oh essentially God, how could she dox up. someone if she doesn't know how to do it and this right. is just like to me further where i'm like this just sounds like like mal it, 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 if you remember that I want to bring up the Logan Paul thing again with the, the, the forest where when you plead ignorance and people are less likely to want to shit on you than if you're like, I intentionally did this. And I feel like 
with her offering those stupid ass, um, she's completely self-aware of what she did. And she's offering shit like, how could I dox? I don't know how to dox. No, an innocent person that accidentally dox somebody would be like, holy shit, I didn't realize. I'm sorry. Like, I didn't know that that was considered doxing. Instead, she's like, oh, I, I don't know how to do it. And I'm like, nigga, you don't have to know how to kill someone to kill someone. You just, it just happens. Sometimes you run someone over with a car and accident, you killed them. You know, it doesn't mean like, I didn't know how to do it. What the fuck do you mean? You did it. It already happened. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's so fucking silly, man. It's so, I don't know. It's, so, it's, it's so maddening that like, Logan Paul got absolutely destroyed, right? For the forest thing. And there's evidence actually now, there's more evidence to support that the, it was actually a dummy. This uh, Some autistic guy made a crazy in-depth video examining all the stuff and what was inside the, the van the and day stuff. After and we it, talk, the, day, the day after we talked about it with Jack's films too, that was so funny. <laughs> or the day, the, the very else? day of, I think. Dude, the fucking mystic shit, dude, that keeps happening. And I'm like, dude. Mystic. Uh, that's what I was saying I was I'm on the fence. I'm like, I'm not sure. I can't just say it's not fun. But anyway, my point being he got absolutely obliterated. I think YouTube uh, even took away his YouTube red show. He had like a show or something and they took it away. They they destroyed him for a while. They demonetized him for a while. Then of course they 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 they, they he got back on after like a year. I can't remember how long it was. That's not the point. The point is it looks like they're not gonna do fucking anything to her. Like z like nothing. Like, not even, like, a slap on the fucking wrist where, who was it, the act man made a fucking joke about, I think, what did he, to, to uh, what's oh, his yeah, name? Oh, yeah, because, because I can't remember what, I think it was, I don't know if it what's was Quantum TV name? or somebody else. Quantum, I think it wasn't um, Quantum TV, it was Quantum TV, it was Quantum TV. It, it, it was uh, something, but like, he, he, had a, he had a video, video? Oh, hold on, oh, Kingston, oh, Kingston, hold, hold on. on, stop, stop. There, there's a video that uh, act, the act man did where he made, like, a joke, it was like a sketch in the middle of the video where he's like, here's my new YouTube series doxing adventures and he was just going around like pretending to dox people because apparently like that's that was okay because this other person that he was criticizing was doing it actually um oh, okay and, that, and he got in trouble he and he got in trouble for that joke sketch and sniper wolf is fine i thought he <laughs> did crazy. the thing where he had the fake the the fake idea that he, he insinuated a penis in what you call that his is mouth, also and he got true. in hell of trouble for that. That is that's also true. That is also true. I was like, that's crazy. He <laughs> that didn't even show anything. True. He insinuated Dude. something. He got in mad trouble for it. I was like, whoa. Yeah. That is and also think, that is also true. But this is also something thing, else. That thing though was was exclusively on Twitter though, wasn't it? And that was kind I of like I don't remember. The, the I point think so. It. I think that yeah. So this, I think so. That was so the thing. It's like this happened on Twitter, and then he got penalized on YouTube for it. Yes. Yes. And so it's like here's something that happened outside of YouTube and so they absolutely do punish people for doing fucked up stuff and nothing I mean this is way worse than Twitch like Twitch is now like they're probably like fuck yeah dude like like let them let them fight let they them shit on YouTube got a, we finally got a break thank like, god yeah like oh we, we oh, let the, the people break to you oh we let hot women break to us all the time but now like this is this is way worse the, you, she could have potentially got this dude harmed well, this this rules well, <laughs> well to be fair to twitch to be to be fair to twitch i show speed yeah. showed his penis and he's still on he's still on there <laughs> so like there is oh he didn't get he didn't some... get banned at all like any that was um, on I think he... or was that, that was that on kick was oh, it on kick? I don't know what he is. I don't, I know, what he's actually on. don't. I don't know. No, 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 no. You're, uh, actually, he just got invited back onto Twitter. Sorry, Twitch. He was actually banned oh. from Twitch. And I just, uh, because he, okay, so I just found this out like maybe a week or so ago. He was banned and I, I only, I didn't know. He was banned because he made a rape joke when he was like 16 or something. He said something like he was asking a girl about like, would you sleep with me if I was the last guy on the planet type of like, thing or something like me? that. Yeah, and then she, I think she was saying no, but then he was like, who gonna stop me? Like, who's gonna like, who, like, you know, like nobody's yeah, there, yeah, like, yeah. who's gonna stop me? And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> like, yeah, that's insane. Calm down, that's dude. not a joke you make. That's not a joke you make in front of a camera. Of course you That don't. is not a joke you make in front of, like, that's such, not a <laughs> joke you make in front of a camera. It, that it, is a joke you can only <laughs> say in front of close friends, because they'll get the joke. That's like, I like don't Dennis, get it. I don't it's get always maybe, I don't know, man. If I, if I, if I heard that, I'd be like, mm. <laughs> all right. Look, I want, it's a, it's <laughs> like, okay, bro. It's a funny joke in a, that is a funny joke in the, in the, in the context Text of your friends. If you're like, said, if you said that's one of your dude friends, yeah, that is a that funny girl. fucking joke. I don't even think it's that funny. I just think it's just kind of like, eh. like to me, it's like 
it, it could be like funny, like I said, like, like a dentist. Sketch. It's like it's like that comedy. Yeah, but like that's like well written. You know what I mean? Like right, comedy right, shorts right, gamer. Right. It's like that comedy shorts gamer intro where he like chloroforms. <laughs> I can't that's so believe awesome. it's real. Still, I can't believe that was just real. Some, do you understand that he had to pitch his channel to people to advertisers, and that was like the first thing they saw. And it's like, just oh, it's like fine. this animated like puppeteers <laughs> uh, like a two D fucking, fucking freak. Oh man, that's totally fine. It's <laughs> that's fine. That's <laughs> mid rape guys. Yeah, Come literally, it's rape here, dude. Uh, uh, it's just such Comedy a weird. It was such raper. a different time. But the point is, yes, it was. I don't know, man. Sniper Wolf uh, seems like a complete jackass. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, uh, yeah, hopefully something hopefully agree. something yeah he seems like a real jerk this guy uh so real hopefully hopefully doofus. something gets done about it but i really i really doubt it i, I don't think uh, i think she's youtube royalty for some reason yeah. i don't know why like she's not if anything you know what's weird about this whole thing to me is that jack's films to me seems more like youtube royalty than like he sh- sniper wolf he does you know what i mean be. because he 100%. was like around for so long and like popping for so long. like like he had like a viral video at least a handful of viral videos every year for the last like the entire time 10 you know what i mean it's like 10 so yeah at least 10 yeah years, man. he's like the perfect the fa- representation of youtube especially the you the in youtube right it's supposed to be like yeah he, he you. seems like You're the, the last one that's remaining shit. he he seems like the last remaining uh, or I mean, I'm sure there's probably others that aren't coming to mind, but like yeah. in the immediate sense, like he seems like the last remaining person that actually is emblematic of the type of content that YouTube used to um, reward where it was just like, hey, here's a guy. Here's here's just this one person and they're making a bunch of shit. Uh, obviously, he did his like, uh, what is it? Live show and all that stuff. It was cool. Oh, right. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I don't know. It's not like it's not like what's what's popping now, which is very different. No, anyway, yeah, the the, web, the website's just not what it used to be anymore. I I've I've realized that all of the old creators I used to watch are gone. I, I, none of my old fr- uh, subscriptions even get notified anymore. Yeah, like anymore. JF, he's gone. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, gone. Uh, Richard Spencer. Richard Spencer's um, gone. Uh, who um who else like did you watch? My, uh, my conservative content David now Duke. is like I don't know the the Hodge twins, but they're not popping like they used to be no more. Yo, you watch the they Hodge, broke Hodge my heart, show? dude. I used to watch the Hodge twins. I'd they be broke dead my serious. heart. I, I, used to, I used to watch them in 2010 because they were just bros wa- that would go around trying food and go to the gym and stuff like that. Yeah, they were gym, really cool. Gym stuff, life advice, and then uh, and then they started doing the car food thing. But it was actually they were the only car food review people I watched. Because they were so stupid, like the way that they would like fuck with each other, like they would just say like the brothers, dumbest like two shit. Bro- like two brothers would yeah. fuck with each other. Yeah, like, that's like basically why I watched. I didn't really give a shit about the food they're eating. It was just uh, actually just hanging out, talking shit, and uh, and then they started doing a political comedy, which I caught one of their shows in Brea, and I was like, oh yeah, that was cool. Took pictures with them and shit. I was talking to their uh, their producer. And I was like, man, these guys are cool. Like, I want to do some content with these guys. And then, like, fucking. And, he, tur- and then later, he turned like, around and said, and then he turned around and said, get away from me, black person. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, and that's, and that's, and that's, yeah, that was you guys the first all said that to each other. You guys, everybody in that room said that to each other. They were all black. Get away from me, black person. Everybody this was in the corner was- of a room. <laughs> It was in a corner room. Stay away from me, black. Stay away from me, black. Everybody has their hands up blocking each other. Don't get touch away from me. me. Get out of here. Get out of here. You you don't get away from me. <laughs> this is when uh this is the moment when I knew that like something was happening with them because I stopped paying attention to them and then uh I did it. So this was like six or seven years ago or something. Probably like six years ago. Uh, I did an interview with Crowder before I knew he was insane. Right. This was like. Well before I was like, oh, this guy's like an insane piece of shit. I just thought he was some fucking chuddy comedian guy. That's the way that he passed himself off as. And uh, yeah. later, one of his uh, uh, I th- one of his producers or somebody emailed me. They're like, hey, can I like fly you down to Texas? I want to do some. I-, I was aware of who the fuck he was at this point. He emailed me saying he wanted to fly me down to Texas with the Hodge twins and do some skit. And I was like, I- no, I was I don't know what the fuck's going on with that shit. I'm good. But the Hodge twins, they they went hard in the paint in that direction. Now they're just like they sell 
1776 shirts and shit. You know, they're they're, they're oh oh they're called the conservative twins now. Just uh, you know, if it didn't, if it needed to be if it didn't if it wasn't any more obvious. Are you serious? They just they, they wait. Did it. they rebrand themselves to the conservative they, twins? They made a channel called the conservative twins, which I think in under a year got like over a million subs. And I'm just like, this is so. Do conservatives this, even <laughs> believe in twins? <laughs> like is that not like an affront to is that like not That's like so dark disrespectful. Satan magic? <laughs> like, I, I feel like <laughs> that is so disrespectful. But also I feel like funny their demographic, as fuck. they're like the hot trends are such a threat to them. They're these giant, good looking black dudes that they're just like, oh there's I don't know about you I don't know about these people. Like it's it's just it's a, you know, like oh oh Oh, 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 uh, the blacks are, you know, they, they got to go in their place and they're, they're, you know, those types, the far right motherfuckers, right? Because a lot right, of, right, right, but right, right. they yeah. see these people and they're like a bastion of like, you know, six, four, muscular, attractive. And it's like everything that they say in black people for some reason can't achieve because they're racist as shit. And I'm like, but it's like a cognitive dissonance. It's, it's that dance. It's like when I realized there was a handful of, this is the thing that blew my mind. And like so, a lot of the bread tube people were onto something that there was some fucking really seethingly racist people that are watching me just because there were some things that I was saying that they're like, I'll I'll like that you're I like that you don't like Anita Sarkeesian. Also, Hitler's dope. <laughs> and it's kind of like, yeah, it was why like a are wild you watching leap. my content, sir? <laughs> Please go away. Please it's a funny go. leap, man. <laughs> Please go. But yeah, they're they're gone now. They're gone. They're gone, thank God. I used to love... I'm oh watching them right God. now. I used to love them. They're You're still the- kind of funny in the same way they were funny. No, just the no, shit they talk about that. is like... Shit I don't can't get behind anymore. It makes me really <laughs> sad, man. It sucks because I know they're grifting. I know... I just... I know that they saw how much money there was to be made. And I, I'm going to say this, and I probably said this before. I feel partly responsible. There were people that saw me blow up, and they saw that, like... Hey, if I just go actually completely in this one direction, because I was the, you know, I, I, I came off as the, I even made church, the, the radical centrist, right? Ha, 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 like cute. Uh, but then yeah. the Candace Owens, the, the Hodge twins, um, and other black folks, they all they did was just like, oh, I'm just going to just say really fucked up shit and I'm going to explode. And that's exactly, and I was like, fuck, I feel like people yeah. saw, like, they it scratched is your their fault. head. It is your fault. Yeah, I feel like it is your part, fault. I blame I, you entirely. I would never say egotistically it's completely my fault because that just sounds like it sounds like no, I no, created it these people. It's yeah, okay. no, it is. All it right, is your fault. Sure. You you did this without you. Sure. The, I did without you. Kanye would not it, be a Nazi. Without can you, you uh, that's, can you imagine? That's a little you much. Imagine, that's a, that's a little much. Can you imagine if that was somehow true? That is a like, little much. <laughs> can you that imagine if that was <laughs> somehow true? But look, at, I will say this. I will say this. There's maybe a pers. It's maybe. It may here's the fucked up thing. It may be partially true, in a sense that I feel like Candace Owens was one of those people that like she probably saw me in this space and was like, I can do this, but I'm just going to go completely far right and just and just steal people's talking points. I'm thinking like there's yeah. a possibility that say she, you know, like piggybacking off of this. I'll never say like so you can even watch my old content. I was never some. There's nothing. I would. It's. It sucks that I have to say this. There's nothing conservative about me. So even when people thought I was conservative, I said to the people that saw me on talk to some to conservative people. I understand that maybe just just not even doing any effort. Maybe you thought I was conservative. Oh, I'm talking to Crowder. I talked to Jordan Peterson. So maybe they just thought immediately. I understand that. I, I, I'll never shit in you for that. But if you watch any of my content. Or just look at me. Just look at my fucking tattoos and the ears and the holes in my ears. The f- the, the odds of you being a conservative and being looking like this is so fucking like slim to none. Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Likely story. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you say. Uh. Yeah. Whatever I mean, you say. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like, there's nothing. I was like, it says "live free" on my fucking knuckles. Whatever, whatever like, I'm say, not like. You say black. Like, whatever you say, black Hitler or Blitler for short. Yeah, uh, fucking big deal. Uh, <laughs> fucking black Hitler, Hitler or Do you guys remember actual black short. Hitler? That, I do that remember black Hitler. Like Chris, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, like Chris Tucker a little bit. He had like. Black, oh my god. What was Hitler? his name? What the hell uh, was his name? Hold on. We have Gazi, to look him up. Hold on. Gazi. Gazi Kazo. Some. Yeah. There you go. 
Black yeah, Hitler. He looks, he looks, if we the look fact him up, that there's a black Hitler and you guys him let up, him dude, exist. He kind of looks like uh, Chris Tucker. He looks like a like a like a, a Chris Tucker before he got money. God, oh, the- he's gone. He's just he's just scrubbed from the internet. I can't find anything. Oh. Oh, he kind of from him. He, something happened to him recently. His, like he his, got arrested his name or was, something. His, his name, his name was Gazi, Gazi Kazo or something. Um, but yeah, that was that How was do you a even wild. Spell that Gazi. I don't know. It was G A Z G A Z I. I don't know. Ko Kazo Kazo. Oh man, I'm not gonna K O K O D Z O. K O D Z O is what it was. Yeah, yeah. The rise and fall of Gazi Kozo. <laughs> my, oh, from Axios, dude, that's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, there was there was a yeah, black Hitler. Dude. That was a, it. Was such a wild time, man. We were oh, just like simpler times. So man. many crazy. They were simpler. Isn't that insane? You look at like some of you look at some of um some of like the the political controversies from like Obama's time. Yeah, and like it's just like he wore a tan suit. <laughs> and that was the controversy. <laughs> right, it was like president right, shouldn't right. president shouldn't wear. Tan suits. That's crazy. <laughs> right. George Bush couldn't get through a. He 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 tried to go through a, a door and it and it was locked. Phew. Oh my god! <laughs> Can't that believe that. That wouldn't even make the fucking front page now, dude. Not even. That would that would be so forgotten. It's crazy. It's like now. It's like oh, what did Biden say? Biden forgot his entire family today. <laughs> And started talking about the fucking the internet. Started talking internet. about wave dashing and fucking fighting games in the <laughs> middle of a internet. fucking speech. It's, it's, it's the internet's fault. Hell yeah, it's the internet's yeah. fault. It's all, it's all the internet's it's, fault. I think. I think it's still a, a huge point of pride for me that I was like one of the first people to bully Candace Owens. Like, that I, is, I really, I, I feel so happy about that. Absolute bragging rights. Absolute bragging. You know what's I funny? I think it was the first one. I was like one of the first like two or three people. You were, though. Like, and it you was like were, I would say it you was were the, crazy. The first with prominence, as far as I'm concerned, because if you, when I, I remember, however many years ago this was, I did not remember that I watched your video on it. Um, yeah. But when I went in, I saw that your shit popped up in the search engine. It said I had a like on it. I liked the video. I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "I watched this video and I don't. I forgot she existed." And so I was yeah. like, "Oh fuck this bitch!" And then I just forgot about her. But yeah, like you fucking it's trailblazer crazy. and it's uh, trailblazer. Th- th- I actually thought about. I'm not going to do it, but I thought about watching some of the streams that we had. I just wanted to see because oh yeah, there it would be was, interesting to see those. There was uh, there. I don't know why some people push back against this, but there was a community. Of uh, whatever you wanted to call them, anti SJW, whatever, it doesn't fucking matter to me. But there was a community because there was diversity in opinions that would come together and shit on these people. Because there'd be fucking like, uh, like Hunter when he was a complete chud back in the day. Hunter Avalone. There would be yeah, he's like the uh, opposite now. There would be fucking right. <laughs> there would be uh, Jeff Holiday. There would be all these people in like one stream or something. Shitty. We would come together to all be like, this is stupid. And there was something fun about that. And then um, when that shit died down, people went to their respective corners and stuff. And then things kind of got all really shitty to the point where I don't really talk to any of those people anymore, especially the people that were, you know, unfortunately, the people that are on the right because they just went so far to the right where there were people that say you've probably ran into fucking relatives that are older, like your grandparents and stuff. Some of them. Just just by default, growing up in a certain era are kind of, you know, they're kind of conservative, especially if you uh, if you grew up in like uh, in the black communities, um, uh, they don't like gay people. They go to church all the time. There's there is a very like now there there is I know there's a misconception about a lot of that stuff. But but I would say like socially, there was a lot of conservatism within those communities, especially the older you get. So sure. I would tolerate that stuff. You would tolerate them, whatever. We would try to coexist and stuff. If anything got too far, obviously, we would break apart. My point being, there was some of that happening around 2014, 2016. And then uh, I think once Trump got elected, everything just everything just kind of like fell apart after that, man. Like everybody kind of just like there, there's some people. I ain't going to call nobody out, but man, but there's some motherfuckers. I mean. That yeah, I mean, crazy. there's some motherfuckers that are getting Nazi sponsors. You know, they're getting like they have a Nazi publishing. In the game. 
they're fucking promoting <laughs> Nazi it's, like it's, literally it's 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 the fault it's the fault of the it's world crazy. how it was at that time how people's perception was stupid people didn't people weren't reading in between the lines no uh, I think it's Derek's exactly fault. doing doing the work they should have when they Derek's were fault. I think it's I think I it's think I think it's all Derek's fault yeah I don't, I don't, think it's Derek's fault. I don't, I don't like some people I'll blame YouTubers at an era I don't like and I'm like I don't really blame them they just, dude I had people tell me that they seriously thought like they, they, like there were people like Chris because of Chris Trump was elected I'm like you're wild I wouldn't say that. Y'all I, didn't I'm help. flattered. I wouldn't I say y'all so didn't flattered. help. But I didn't say y'all I'm didn't. So fl- y'all I'm so flattered by it. the idea that, That's like, crazy. I'm flattered. I'm That's flattered crazy. by the idea that, like, without me, I would like I altered history. Like I'm yeah, flattered by that, but it's great, also like, like people. People, but it's also just objectively you, untrue. <laughs> people saying you and Derek and June are the reason why Trump got. It's like. That's correct. We did it. They well, didn't. We, they didn't do that. What that thing is specifically? America's, that's America's fault. Yeah. Well, America's there's fault a, a bunch of liars say. have been politicians forever, and this one guy, unfortunately, unfortunately, aren't stupid enough to pick it up. But he was telling the truth in lies. He was. He had more truthful lies than everybody else. And people were like, "Yeah, I believe this guy." That's why there are so many people that weren't conservative before him that are that became conservative mm-hmm. after him. It's because the way he would speak, it, it resonated to people. Unfortunately, yeah, he's unfortunately charismatic, but see, he's charismatic in a stupid way. Like, say, look at. There, there's it's a big funny. difference. There's a big difference between Obama and Trump, but they got elected essentially the same way, being extremely charismatic and telling a lot of fucking lies. That telling people what they wanted to hear. Hope and change is what we need. We we don't need the same old thing. And then hope and change. It seemed great. Obama's charismatic as fuck, very good looking. And then it turns out, you know, he didn't really do much of most of what he said. Like it's kind of fucked up that Biden's doing a better job than Obama did, which is insane to me, which is literally insane to me. It makes no sense to me, but that is the reality we're living in. But um, the, the the absurdity about like, say certain people, YouTubers got Trump elected there for multiple. First of all, I lost a lot of subscribers, not a ton, but I lost hundreds of subscribers when I said like, I'm not voting for Trump. Are you fucking stupid? Are you people like, I'm not voting for these fucking ghouls. Uh, and, and and you're, and then other people were saying, you're going to get Hillary elected. What are you doing? Uh, so, but the reason why Trump got elected, not just, not this wave of fucking YouTube memes and shit that made him seem cool or whatever the fuck. Uh, number one, most of those people in our generation don't vote. So even though they were saying they supported Trump, they didn't go anywhere and fucking vote. Uh, just look at the numbers of who the people have, the demographics of people who vote. Number two, yeah, yeah. the media really fucking helped him out by saying Hillary is going to win by an f- absolute fucking landslide, which created so much apathy. Which created so much apathy on the fucking left that we're just like, I don't need to do shit because there's no way he's going to win. That is such a fuck. That is people don't understand it's how a fucking dumb thing to do. Yeah, it's reta- it's so stupid. Uh, it, it, look at when we talk about mixed martial arts. I think arts that might happen sports. again. I feel, I feel like I feel like by the way that might happen again. Uh, the opposite way because I feel like the whole thing with last time was that they think the election was stolen. So I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, why bother voting? I if think the so too. Stolen? I think there's a lot of people that are going to be like, what is the use? They're just going to steal it again, and it's probably going to bite them in the ass. Probably going to lose yeah. like a lot of support, if not, like say, hundreds of thousands or something, because where I, it can I, what be I think, really what important I think now in, in is swing the states. Have, the people that have grown to vote now, actually, like the people that like eight years ago, those 10-year-olds eight years ago actually kind of care more than we do now. <laughs> they actually well, they care a lot more. They're fired up. They pay attention, like, and in a way we didn't pay attention. They They're paid fired attention. up. We were apathetic. We were we were part of the. We were part of it. Like I said, our our generation. We didn't. If you look at the numbers, we did not get out there and fucking vote. So because like you say, like, the idea of saying like, oh, crying about ourselves. We like, got oh, Trump elected or whatever. I don't want to win. I don't want Trump to win either. <laughs> Instead of fucking like, I really. I, I mean, really, it's real. Like, that's, my that's, that's, that's very real. That's very that real. Shit. It is real, but yeah. My girlfriend had to put me on to shit like that because I'm I'm very I, I, much so. I, I voted I, in the in the primary. I was like, I'm voting for Bernie, and then they screwed Bernie out of the pro. They screwed Bernie out, and then I was like, you know what? Fine, you deserve this. I was not surprised at all. Like people were like stunned that he won the election, and I was like, I wasn't like expecting was it necessarily, but the second it happened, I was like, of course this fucking happened. Like. I, I was cackling up a fucking storm because I was like surprised. you I was did surprised. this to yourself. You had the most unlikable fucking person going up against a layup, and because you couldn't fucking admit that nobody wanted her, you sacrificed everyone. Fuck you. That's exactly how I felt. It's still how I feel, quite frankly. Like, yeah, I, I really... I understand. I, I, we, we totally fucking deserved that. We deserved I it. I understand. I understand. Like, if, if there was a real... 
if there was uh, if meritocracy and, and a democracy was was as pure and as honest as it should be uh, obviously bernie sanders would be president no no contest he was uh, he would have at least he would have at least been in no, the fucking election no contest he you know won. what i mean no contest i i am i think 100% he would have yeah. confident he would have he would have he, he would have absolutely Trump. just absolutely it's, it's destroyed too, it's Trump. too easy for him to be he's so much more likable than donald trump is as a being <laughs> like, like as what, a being he's so much more likable. like trump would say a bunch of shit and bernie would be like you're a lying piece of shit I hope well, dude, I know anecdotally. <laughs> I just, do, I, dude, I just know anecdotally. I just know anecdotally from like, and I'm sure like that's anecdotally doesn't necessarily translate necessarily, but like I know yeah. a lot of people who like voted for Trump out of protest because they didn't like Hillary, right? Uh, and they would have so voted for fun. Bernie, which so is crazy. Uh, the, the, I didn't the vote at all. To, to but, do, see that that is the, the that is the proper way to do it. If you really if you want to protest, I'm I'm protesting the fucking system by not participating in it. Now I don't do that anymore. Like I said, just like you, you we talked about this before, but that because I think the perfect example now and one of the reasons why Gen Zizo fired up is is a uh, uh, Roe v. Wade being overturned. That is a perfect example of my, Lily, not Lily voting put me onto that proper yeah, in a way not that like, getting I really involved cause shit like that. Exactly. And so now it's like it's too irresponsible. Unfortunately, <clears throat> I have to contribute to the lesser of two evils. I have to you have because, to, because the lesser it, of two evils is better than the, the fucking evil. more evil person. Unfortunately. It, like unfucking fortunately, that's just the world we're living in. Where I wish we would collectively come together, you know, three hundred million plus people, and be like, we're not fucking doing this. That we're not gonna just we're not gonna just let the DNC or whoever the fuck the GOP put in who they want, who the fucking lobbyists want. We're like, okay, here's the nominee. No, we will reject it. That is not what the people want. It's not. Ha we're not going forward. Kind of like a strike. We're not going forward with this shit. Instead, right. we we just do, and in a perfect world, that's what we would do. But it's not. So now I'm at, I'm at the point where it's like, well, look at all these women are suffering now because <laughs> this shit got overturned. Could you I imagine have to fucking, like they, I like they try to do? I have to. They try to like do that, and like someone's just like no, and they just to fling shit at them. <laughs> like, it's like this is the president. That's wild. No, and they just people start throwing shit during the fucking inauguration. The inauguration halls covered in shit. The people that are gonna play <laughs> like CeeLo Green was gonna sing. He gets caked <laughs> in shit somehow. Like something horrible. That it's, it's a bunch like, of fecal like, matter all over DC. We Biden and Trump shows really up. Soon. And people just start like slapping them to death, you know? Like, no, that's so not slapping him. Yeah, slapping them to death. Everyone grabs him. Everyone grabs him. And they put him up like he's about to be crucified. And he was it? Was it Shane? Shane was, it, was, it, was it Shane? Was it Shane? Was it Shane Gillis who said like Biden looks like the first president that you could punch, assassinate? <laughs> <laughs> Correct Probably. Me He's definitely uh, not. He's definitely not. He's definitely not the first one. That's crazy. Well, he is I love kinda, Jimmy he Carter. Is. I would kill that nigga in one hit. I no, would but he's not kill president. Jimmy Carter one hit. Right. He's huh? not president, though. He's not president. He was, he, he was the when first he was, that you he could. He wasn't like, I don't think Jimmy he, I mean, he was, was small, not, but you're Jimmy probably thinking of Jimmy Carter dude. now. You're probably thinking of Jimmy Carter now. No, no, I'm now, talking about Jimmy Carter then. Jimmy Carter was a small dude, man. He's always small, but I don't know if you can. My grandma had a picture for the man. He's yeah, a tiny guy, not, Derek. Yeah, but small is not the he's, same thing as like fragile. I think I yeah, like, 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 one shot like him. Like Jimmy Carter now, you can slap him. You can literally slap him. I, I, I think I could have one shot at Jimmy Carter back in the day. I love you him. Cry, he's like one of my favorite presidents cry. ever. You could cry at him, and he'd probably like crawl. Anyway, look, look, we gotta move on to questions. Did, We're spending a lot of time. You're right. If you tell him about right. evils of the world, right. he'll be like, "Oh man, I tried so hard, he disappeared, and then he dies." Yeah. <laughs> so right, let's let's hit these I questions. Tried, <laughs> yeah, let's get into questions. Battery moisturizer wrote in. <laughs> nice. He goes, Curious if any of you guys uh, remember particularly potent insults from when you were a kid. Someone who I later became friends with brought attention to my uh, hideously asymmetrical ears. Through the fr though the friendship has lost the time, his observation still lingers in my mind. I'm curious what he said, though. I want to know what he said. But uh, yeah. I think dude, I, I will never forget this as long as I live because it was so verbose and so offensive. But <laughs> he... <laughs> So this is like, I think fourth grade or something. And I went to a school with like a lot of different people, like a lot of different backgrounds. So there was this, there was, I was friends with this, this kid. I can't remember. I can't remember his name. I only knew him for like a little bit, but he had this littler kid from like two grades below him. He would go, he would like kind of bully him to get things for him. And it wasn't like, 
bully he, he wouldn't like beat him up or anything he would just like he just for some reason this little kid did whatever he wanted and it was his, it was this black dude bullying this littler black kid fourth grade second grade dynamic and he brought him his ice cream one day from in like the cafeteria and he said I, i'm not going to say it because i can't say it but i remember being just staggered that it was said he said my my what an obsequious little n-word you are <laughs> which is what crazy <laughs> <laughs> because what? that was a, you have to understand right you have to understand obsequious is not obsequious is not a fourth grade word it's a, that's, that's like that's, that's like that's a high school word that? I had to, who taught that's what him I was that like, that's what I was like what the fuck is that? I, I didn't know what that meant and I learned so it I learned it later in high school and then it like flat I had that flashback of like oh my god that is crazy that he said that to that kid and the kid was like what <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 did the little kid say it to the, the bigger kid no the bigger kid said it to the littler kid because like so obsequious means uh obsequious means like uh attentive or obedient <laughs> Why did he know that word? That's what I was. I was Why so. Did he like, know first that of all, word? I was. I was, I, was thro- I was thrown off by a the advanced language and b the slur, which at that time <laughs> I had never heard. Like I straight up had never heard that. That, that was a new word, word for you. That was like, not like you know, not like you know, band, not, not like when outside you find of a new- not <laughs> outside of uh, like music, like uh, the soft a in music. Oh, okay, you know what okay. I mean. So it's like being like, when you meet a new fuck? demon and the book opens up and then the demon face gets put in the book. That was you with the N-word. It got added to your dictionary. You're like, oh, nice. Dude, <laughs> I, yeah. no, I, I was one. not, I was not really, I never really said it ever. Even in like, uh, okay. yeah, okay. I'm, I'm like, especially as a kid, like once we, sure. once Kingston and I got right. together, it was insane. But, <laughs> but oh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But uh, Dude, there was a period of time we were saying that word so often in the house that it stopped bothering me. And then I said it around Lily and she was like, yo, chill. And I was like, oh, no, that's not Dude, a good I word. Remember, I remember telling you that because we would joke about it because we would make jokes out of it. But then you would like, but then the issue is like I would I would hear him get angry at video games in the next room and then scream it with anger. And that made me feel not good. Like I didn't like being yeah. in the when you in say, when you say I didn't like anger, being, that's the I problem. Like, I don't like being in an environment where that word is said with 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 vitriol. <laughs> like it's it's a with it's like a really intent. uncomfortable. That's that's where it's yeah. bad. Like when you you say with malice, it's like if you get hurt. Like if I'm arguing with somebody, right, and they argue with me and they say that to me while they're arguing, I'm punching you. That's the only time. Shit's crazy. I'll like yeah. break character. I'll be like, I'll I love that video of the kid of the kid being put where he's like, don't don't call me that, Joe. <laughs> he punches him because he, he was still his friend. He was still his friend. He was still his friend. He was, he was like, his, yo, dude, uh, like, don't call me that. Like, just chill out. Call I me probably dumb. Be don't call me the other after that. Well, I that's mean, really that's the whole thing. Like, that's like a, weird. a friend wouldn't call you that. So, how, yeah, that's how a good crazy. Of a friend was he before? <laughs> I think he just learned. I think he grew up learning how to deal with being called that word. And he had his moment where he hit him. And he was like, don't call me that, Derek. And he left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't call me that. I don't know anyway, what's the that's, most crazy that's, thing my friend said. That's the to me. insult that comes to mind because it was just so advanced. <laughs> It's a good like, one. It's a very good one. Obsequious is an awesome word. And I'm definitely get, like, now that I remember it, because of this question, I'm going to be using the word obsequious a lot. Because it's you such should. a fun for word. Me, there's like an E, for me, e, and there's a Q. It's cool. For me, the worst thing I ever, it didn't happen to me, but I, I witnessed it happen, was it was during SAT practice, right? And some kid was really nervous. Like, he was doing the test, and he's nervous. And he got up, and he went to hand the test, and he fell down in front of a bunch of kids. <laughs> and then one kid got up and was like, ha, and called him the F word, and the whole room started laughing at him. <laughs> the whole room started That's laughing at him. That's crazy. I was Did laughing so that? hard. I was, I was like stomp laughing. I was like laughing and stomping up and down because it was so that funny. Word, the kid man. just got That's up great. and left. That's great. That word at that time meant so little. Like that really didn't mean anything. You fell down, and therefore that's what you are now. Yep. Why? It probably technically means less now. You're a ragged. Is this that more people? Some Ooh. people make more hell of a do to it, but it means less than it did then. I think you're a ragged, raggy. It's so crazy, yeah. man. I don't know. That's a wild one. That's Ooh, a wild. Just to be insulted for falling down. Like for well, to be fair, 
falling down handing in a test is the lamest way to fall down like that's like a really because it's nah, a flat surface you're not doing anything lame. no in but falling down like thing. i don't know at least like falling down a mountain is crazy you know what i mean <laughs> or like falling down like a staircase when there's like soap all over it is like oh well you know there's only so much you could do. or like on ice but like on a flat gym floor because you probably did sat practice in the gym right he fell hard that's like, too yeah yeah, he fell he on a fucking full almost. solid. <laughs> he, he, he almost scorpioned. He almost <laughs> he broke his back. He almost scorpioned. <laughs> Seeing people scorpion is a crazy thing. It's like, how did you fall like that? How did you fall so hard your body bent over and your fucking feet were dangling by your head the wrong way? Like, how did you get yourself to that point? It's a good Poor feet, guy, man. man. I, hope he, I hope he didn't hurt oh. himself. So here's a, here's a good little fine. question. Gray Ghost. Gray Ghost wrote in. And he goes, sup, Snarka, Snarkaholics Anonymous? Nice. <laughs> Not a spooky cool. question, really. But with the increase in podcasts and more guests coming next year, what are the chances of us getting guests like Shoe on Head or Elvis the Alien on a second time? Also, I think it'd be cool Likely. since uh, Derek wants to do uh, like Manosphere stuff uh, to do question threads on specific topics. E- uh, example, dating advice questions, job advice questions. You know, honestly, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, specifically, oh, yeah. uh, like having having more like directed question threads. The issue is that there are so many questions <laughs> yeah. that we have to get through. We have to get through them as they are. But we might have like a month or like a, a portion of the month that's like dedicated to like a specific questions because we're going to be I doing a lot of episodes. That might, podcast. that might not be a manosphere. That'd episode. be great. I would say <laughs> yeah. such that toxic might not be shit a bad idea. more than I usually. But as far say. as but as far as like returning guests, I mean that's always possible. Like if 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 we have if there's a reason for us to ask them to be on, if if something happens or if they want to jump on, if if they just t- t- messaged us and said like, hey, we'd be I'd be down to go again, that's fine by us. Like no yeah, problem be great with that too. at all. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, will yeah. there be repay? I I can't promise those guests specifically, but I'm sure I'm sure there will Likely be. There will be though. I'm sure there'll be repeat Likely, guests. Yeah, yeah um, they I would like. To, I would. Uh, I, I personally. I would. I would like to get Zach on again since he he was our inaugural episode. Right, and it's been so yeah, so many. Two hundred. We have Zach. Maybe two hundred. Yeah. yeah. Maybe two hundred. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. But it's, yeah, that'd be great. yeah. We gotta. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Maybe yeah, I don't want to promise him. anything because he's a he's a Just busy. Call his bitch he's ass, he's man. probably he's uh, of the people that I know uh, th- that has been on the show. He's definitely the most busy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah. we'll try. We'll we'll see if that's possible, but. Um, oh but yeah, yeah. So uh, let's see. Uh, Re- Rach Black Black Moss Legendary Net Coomer wrote in. All right. So sup, gay songwriters. That is what we are. That's our what legacy. Up? That's true. Uh, what are your guys' top three Queen songs? That's a very specific one. Ooh. Uh. I'll tell you this. It's not fucking Bohemian Rhapsody. I'll tell you that fucking mm, much. Definitely not. not I hate Bohemian say. Rhapsody, quite I, frankly. Like, I really... I, 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 I don't hate I don't it. Hate it. I'm sure it's, there's one I'm part sure of it that's because, really good. I'm sure it's because it's overplayed and no, no other reason beyond that. But, like, I really can't stand that song anymore. Like, it's, it's completely ruined. I just can't ruined. stand the part that everybody talks about. The fucking bridge. I don't give a shit about that stuff. What, I don't what's go the bridge to again? fucking plays and watch operas and shit. Oh, Figu- Figaro? Uh, Galileo. Yeah, like the, Galileo the, Figaro. the part that is unlike any other part of that fucking song that is just like so I mean, most of, of that song's unlike the rest of the song, but like not, that not song part in re- particular. The, song, the intro is a fucking, it is a ballad of, of, of instruments with piano with fucking there is a solo, and then it does that dumb bullshit. And then it goes in just the electric guitars turn on. It's yeah. a fucking rock ballad with that weird shit in it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It's, I think it's a it's great a... song. I would just take out that bridge. I'm be honest. A lot of people would probably be mad at that shit, but I would take that shit out, and that that would be my favorite song. Okay, see, I would want to take that easy. away from people. I would simply, I would simply say, <laughs> this is not mine. This is not for me because I like parts of that song, but not enough to ever listen to it. This is my three. It's easy. Mine, obviously, under pressure is one of them. B- uh, by Vanilla Ice. Love. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody to love. And for me, Percy is between Flash Gordon's theme song or um what you call it or um Give Me the Prize. It's between mm. those two for my last one. Hmm. That's me. Hmm. I- hmm. 
Hmm. The, I the, think well, the, the, album the thing that's for interesting to me, Highlander, is so good. I love that. As album far as songs heart. that like make me feel like nothing, nothing, nothing beats uh, "We Are the Champions" to me. For number one, it's hmm. just fucking excellent song, um, and it always brings me back to uh, the Mighty Ducks, those movies. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever watched those movies. I've seen the first two. But yeah, so they would. Uh, three. They, I've they seen. Would I've seen a fairly strong duck, but I've not seen the movies. Me not seen the mighty. You know ducks what's are. crazy? Gotcha. We are the champions. <laughs> has the same effect on me that it probably has on Chris. Where I've seen that, I heard that song so many times because of watching Mighty Ducks so much when I was little. On like when it would come on Channel Eleven or when it would come on Channel Seven, that right. I don't even hear that song anymore. Like it comes on, it's like we you and my brain mutes ducks. it. My brain mutes it. I'm like, all right, cool. The uh, just no Mighty one. Ducks, Mighty <laughs> Ducks. <laughs> That's all you hear. And we'll, and we'll mighty keep ducks on ducking till we end. fuck. <laughs> Duck, quack, 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 quack. Um, <laughs> That's so stupid. I fucking love that song so much. Um, it's a good song, and, though. It's and it, a good like, one. I love the nostalgia, like because they're in the, they're sitting by the campfire, they're singing the song, they're champions and shit. It, it's it's fun. It brings me back to a good old time. So uh, we are the champions. I actually that song I guess is kind of to, petty too. There's a bit of pettiness in it. It's like, and we are the champions because you yeah. are. Yeah, cause, the, <laughs> yeah, no time for. I was about to say something bad. No time for <laughs> bitch ass niggas because we are. That's basically what they're saying. They they, yeah. they don't fuck with losers. So yeah, they're rubbing salt. They're putting salt in the wound. But that's how gloating is all the time. You know, because people. Some people don't realize that there is no, there is no graceful way to gloat to celebrate because you're celebrating at the, at the expense of somebody losing. You can so celebrate respectfully. We but give it's, it's no, hard no 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 no. no. No, see, we yes, give people we give people a pass. There is no like, there is no actual because there is no respect in being like, ha ha, I won, or not even saying ha, just be like, I won, we won, yes, at the expense of people losing. So no matter what, just by default, you doing that, you're rubbing salt in the wound. You can even, yeah. if, you don't, yeah. even if that's not your though. intention. This is respectfully though. It's you not can, respect. You can, that's you're, you're not hearing that's gloat. me. You don't you have are, to gloat. You are not listening to the words that I'm saying. I say by default, gloat, it is though. not respectful. What we do is we give people a pass that is we would deem it respectable, but there's nothing respectable about it. It is it just by its nature it is arrogant just to do like there's a thing like say if you win something you win a game you get bragging rights we allow it to happen. But I'm saying it's at the expense of somebody losing. So by that default, so you are you're basically celebrating what is somebody's what are we misfortune. About right now? I don't think so. Well, we're talking you're about the same thing we've been talking about. We didn't your, change your at success. all. It doesn't have to be the same we're the thing. Champions. You don't have to be the same thing. You, no, they, it they, is they, the same thing. You know, see they what don't you have do, to wait, be the same thing. It is the same thing. That's the part that you're missing. They are they your success compounds in their failure, right? But you can yes. celebrate success without celebrating their losing. You're, that's you're very possible. No, see, but no, you're but see, that's the thing. I'm saying you are just focusing on yourself, but you celebrating the win is also the people that lost making them feel worse, even if that's not your intention. That's what I'm know, saying. They just can't no, lose gracefully. It's crazy. Well, like, just so that's losing, whole, like, dang, I, got, I, took, I took the out, man. You, you, that's you do a, that's your, a whole your... different conversation, right? That's a whole different right. conversation. <laughs> so, we, we, so, so, so we're the champions. So we're the champions. We're the champions. I'm not even saying people can't gloat. Like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's, it's an interesting dichoto- uh, dichotomy. Uh, we are the champions. I, I got to put it because I really do like most of Bohemian Rhapsody. I, I think that song is fantastic. I love, I love the riffs. I love everything about uh, other than the bridge. And another one bites the dust. Really does something. Great to me. song. Great God song. God damn, there's something. Just that fucking bass line is so goddamn good. Another one down. Another one down. Yeah. Another one no, bites the dust. That, that's, yeah. that's just, I gotta, every time I hear that, I just feel like I'm fucking ready mm. to do something, man. I'm ready to fucking like go. Black person. I'm ready to rob yeah, yeah, man. I don't know. Another one dangles from a tree. <laughs> I don't know, got, man. There's, got, there's, there's a lot of... A tree. <laughs> the issue with me is like, oh I, I, it's hard. It, it's really hard for me to choose between these. Uh, um, because I actually, I, I like a great many, deal. There's too many. I'm... As far as like I'm getting, as far as like the stereotypical ones, I think there there is something about just the infectiousness of uh, "We Will Rock You" 
that is just like I don't like that song. Like I don't it's listen cool. to that song really. It's cool. But it's like it is an iconic song. So I would I would give that as like a shout out. Like the the I love stomp how stomp it clap is. shit. It's just yeah. It's good. But Can I, I would say, say like I don't before know. Before you move on, just sure. I, I, I just I just just as an asterisk. Do do you agree with me? I hope you do. It doesn't matter if you do. The solo at the very end of that song is fucking dog shit, and it just sounds like. Can I tell you? I don't like remember Dudes a is, solo. Oh, I don't that's probably why. I don't remember. I don't at remember. The very end solo. of the song, he just starts jamming on the guitar essentially, and it just sounds so out of place because there is no melody to that song other than just what there's what uh, uh, Freddie Mercury. There's no instruments. And then all yeah. of a sudden, this guitar comes in and it's just jarring. Listen back to it, and then maybe I, you'll be I, like, oh, this is kind of gross. I'll, yeah, it's gross. Uh, I don't so, like it. Go so, ahead, go ahead, so, we will rock you. Is a is a is a is a, is a shout out. It's not. I would I say it's the top three. Okay, but, but yeah, I okay. like. Um, I, I'm 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 big on Scandal. I like Scandal a lot. Okay, it's like a very. It's not like a, a hugely popular one. Scandal, um, innuendo. I think is fucking awesome because innuendo has this. Spanish guitar breakdown in the middle of it that I fucking love to no end. Like it's it sounds fucking awesome, mm. and I think "Don't Stop Me Now" is just really fun. That's a great song. I think "Don't Stop Me Now" is just really There's good. There's like a bunch of other ones. That's a great, great song. It's so fun. It's like in fact, it's fast. It's like it's it's like I don't know. There's something about it that's really good. There's like all there's so many though. Like I, I like headlong and. Headlong, like, I think like, is underrated. Like going going through but. Queen's discography, I feel like they have the most. Like, like it's like them and Michael Jackson for I like have the best discography of songs. Basically, like this is a great song. 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 So yeah. I just I, I I it's hard for me to pick because like I because There's a lot. of living with Gabby, I loved a kind of magic. That is a very special album to me because it's very D and D like fantasy rock which is something Yay. i really really appreciate i love that album but then a crazy little thing called love is objectively a fantastic song somebody to love is a, I, I think one of the best sung songs ever like um, by humans somebody just, there's so great. many like great songs there's so many great songs of theirs where i'm like i can't uh, there's a lot killer queen's there's amazing yeah uh fucking like killer queen's I, great I, the miracles there's, there's, of fucking there's a lot. insane there's a lot. album there's, too. Like, there's, yeah. there's an I- I- insurmountable number of. There's a really reason great why they're one of the most. Popular and a lot of them are really on the planet. Yeah, a lot of them are understated. Like Ride the Wild Wind is really good. There's, there's one that's I really like called. It's just called Apostrophe Thirty Nine, uh, on a night at the opera or whatever. And it's like an acoustic kind of song, but it's 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 with like a twelve string, so it's got like that resonance in it. And it's literally a song about time dilation. Like it's like the plot of Interstellar, but like in a Queen song from like the seventies, and it's it's kind of crazy if if yeah. you like if you listen to it, it's it's about a sh- it's about like a ship leaving and then like coming back before they left and shit or, or some yeah. weird shit like that. It's it's fucking dope, and that's and I didn't realize it until later, but that's because the guitarist wrote it, and the guitarist is apparently like actually an astrophysicist, like Brian May is like <laughs> like an actual like genius. <laughs> Mm. So that's that's kind of sick, but yeah, Queen is Queen's great. Um, yeah, more questions like that. Like that. Yeah, I like that. We, we can do more, do more uh, things. Who's on that? Under who's on that? Who else is on that? Uh, the guy that died. Um, who's the guy that died? Who else is on that song? Uh, wait, oh, Lady of Gaga. Oh my god, I love that um, song. Fuck. What are you talking oh my god, about? What are you I can't believe the guy who died. Is Queen. This is embarrassing. Not in Queen. Not in Queen. Um, this is so embarrassing. Um. Uh, David, Bowie, David Bowie. David Bowie. David fucking Bowie. Oh, yeah. He, they, they did under pressure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was. I could. I couldn't. I was like the guy that died. I was. Like, and I was like, this is so embarrassing because he's such a famous person. The guy. The guy <laughs> like, that died. His fame. The, mo- the most famous thing he did was die. <laughs> I guess that I is kind of what Jesus did. Yeah, that is true. Right. That, you know, yeah, Jesus yeah. is of are, of the people who are famous for dying. It's got to be Jesus at number one, right? Yes. yes. Yes, it, it, but that and William Wallace. Two. William Wallace from uh, uh from uh, what was that movie called again? Braveheart. <laughs> he was like <laughs> yeah, getting right. his he balls tortured or something, and he's like free. Yeah, he got his head. He got his head on a pike or something yeah, yeah, after yeah. the movie ended. Well, well, poor I William love, Wallace. I love <laughs> Scottish Mel Gibson. 
Freedom! And then he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this torture scene is fucking hilarious. I, it's I so funny to me. To me, I, I just think they're like just like they're just poking at his balls and shit. You know, they're just they don't show his okay, balls, it's, but it's a lot of people so doing it at once, <laughs> and he's trying not to bust. He's just like. Ah! <laughs> So this you is a just great. See, there's one fat <laughs> like vein on his dick, fat vein, trying not to bust. And he's like, <laughs> so All right, so listen, listen. I got another one. <laughs> Eternal Sunshine of the Unspoken Rays, a Chris Chan documentary. Ooh, nice. He came out with a new video recently, and they, <laughs> I heard, I fucking heard, oh, I haven't man. seen it, dude. I saw it. Can I tell you something? I saw that video, and when I clicked on that video, it said uploaded 13 minutes ago. Oh, so damn, I was you like got in there, there man. Early. Like, I got, I, like early, man. I was like, I gotta see you this before comment? it goes away. No, I didn't drop a comment. I should have. Damn, in respect, you should. You would have permanently <laughs> you know left your dude. I don't even think about leaving comments anymore. Ever. I mm. I, I haven't had that thought in years to leave a comment. I, I leave I, comments. Just go ahead. I know. I'm just saying, like, it's just completely gone out of my out of my brain. The idea that that's even possible. I don't know why. I see. I think it protects I me still- from engaging with people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fair but enough. anyway, so uh, what is it? This Safe guy wrote sorry. in. He says, uh, "Yeah, Eternal Sunshine of the Unspoken Risen Christian Documentary wrote in. He says, hey, guys, there's a movie called Drunk Parents that is one of the worst movies ever, but includes Kid Cudi, Dan Soder, Alec Baldwin, Will Ferrell, Colin Quinn, Salma Hayek, and Jim Gaffigan, who gives the only good performance. Sadly, he played a pedophile. The script was atrocious, nice. and the story was incomprehensible. I ask, I say this to ask, what is another example of a horrible piece of media with a ton of big names? Obviously, there's a, there's only one real answer to this, and I'm curious if you guys will remember this. Movie 36? Do you guys remember... Huh? Movie 37 movie or whatever it's called? It was like movie no, 43 or something. Movie 43, 43, yeah, that movie was terrible. 40. Movie, it was movie 43, yeah. So it's called movie 43. It has fucking Chloe Grace Moretz, Hugh Jackman, Kate Winslet, Chris Pratt, Emma Stone, Literally Anna Ferris. Yeah, fucking Elizabeth Banks, just in Holly Berry, fucking Gerard Butler, Kieran Culkin, Stephen Merchant, fucking Lee Schreiber, <laughs> Dennis Quaid, Naomi Watts, Bob Odenkirk, Saul Goodman himself, fucking Justin Long, Uma Thurman, Jason Sudeikis, Terrence Howard, Johnny Knoxville, Richard Gere, fucking yeah. uh, I, Patrick Warburton. Jared Dudley for some reason, uh, Seth MacFarlane, fucking JB Smoove, Julianne Moore, Will Sasso, Common, and Tony Shalhoub. That is fucked. And that's not even mentioning uh, like and half Julianne of the other cast. Moore. Like, <laughs> and Julian <laughs> and Julianne Moore, Sean William Scott, fucking uh, it just Everyone. there's so Everyone many in it. there's so many people in this movie, and I'm convinced it was just like a tax thing. I'm convinced it was just like a let's spend a lot of money on this movie so like we can write it off or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what the pitch was for this film, but it was so fucking bad. I watched that movie. I, and I mean, I, it wasn't supposed I to be good. It was just a movie. bunch of skits, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was but like, what? But they weren't even good. But they weren't even. The end. But they weren't even good skits. Like that's the thing about it. It was like I remember watching. I was like, "This is fucking crazy." I watched it on TV. Thank God. I watched <laughs> that, like, I ordered it. I ordered that shit and watched it. I thought you it was ordered be, that because I thought it was gonna be hilarious. I was like, "This is gonna be funny as shit." It was like 2013. It was me and like whatever girlfriend had at the time. We were at my house because I was like the one girl's ever allowed at my house. We ordered it, and then like it was like this is so bad. You want to just do hand stuff? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that it is. was so horrible. Doing hand stuff to movie 43, 43 is crazy. <laughs> is is the, that's crazy. The, the, that's it was the move. Horrible. It was so bad. Although was... I got my first blowjob to a Seinfeld episode, and I remember bam, what episode bam, it was bam, too. Bam. And I remember, and I remember thinking like, this is a weird association that I'm probably not going to be able to break. That's uh, great. But bam, 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 nah, yeah. it, no, that, I can't watch Michael that, that episode now without. I can't watch. I can't watch that episode now without just sitting rock hard. You know, it's a problem. Go ahead. Go ahead, do it. Finish. Bow, 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 I hate Seinfeld. I hate Seinfeld. Moments it is why I hate Seinfeld. Then I'm like, whatever, man. It's a good show. It's a good show. Did you guys like, see the video of the racist white woman running at a black cop 
get shot and gurgling with her final like final breath, N-word, nappy yeah. headed N word. No, I did not. Yeah, she really pissed and wrote that in. I some did not guy, see like, that. Yeah, some like some like lady with a knife runs out of cop. He's like, Miss, put the knife down. And she runs at him and then like she he shoots her three times. And he's like, nappy headed N word. And it's like, look, dude. That's crazy. That's your last words. <laughs> Just racism. In twenty twenty in twenty twenty three, that's your last words? That's fucking crazy. Your last not even like, your son Uncle Ruckus would say, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's so that's, that's so that's fucking crazy. sad, man. That's so <laughs> crazy. I, I do love watching people uh, I do love watching people fight in the street though. Like I, I, I do have to admit. Yeah, it's fun. It's uh there's something about it. It's very fun. There's something about it. I love fun. I love seeing disasters happen, but seeing people fight makes me sad now. Like not it used to be funny before. Wait, when something fun, like when a guy put out the grenade, that was funny. You know, like, that was like fucking shocking. It was like, whoa, this is crazy. But like, the same people fight each other. It's like, it's, ah, it makes me feel sad. It's just, like, I'm sure words could have solved that problem. <laughs> That's always goes to my mind. I was like, they could have just used their words and it wouldn't have got this bad. I don't think so, man. I think, I think there are certain people who just like don't, they're just not going to respond to words. Yeah. And so you just have to like either beat them up or leave. Yeah. Beat so them like, off really, or leave. The, re- the, real, the real response is leaving would have solved this. Like going away, just walking away, not even words, just being like, mm, retreat, flee. Yeah, I'm going. Like, once somebody approaches you aggressively like that, you kind of have to beat them up. Well, yeah. not, well, there, there was that guy that, that, that really, you absolutely there was, that, there was that story not too long ago about that guy who was like he was like a in Brooklyn or whatever. He was like, um, oh my god, I don't know what he was. He was like some political guy. He was like some left leaning political guy, and he got stabbed outside in Brooklyn at like four a.m. And his girlfriend was like, "We're not going to press charges because, uh, you know, he's he's probably from a from a bad family or whatever." And it's I like, remember Holy that. Yeah, shit. that is crazy. Who needs enemies when you have a girlfriend like that? God damn. Well, my thing is this, That's right? Like, my thing is this, wild. right? Wild. When I'm when what? I'm with when I'm with my girlfriend, if I get approached with like that, I'm going to fight. Just simply so she can get out of the situation. Well, then you're just going to die. So well, then, yeah, but like, I just, gonna get I'll sad. try to keep her safe because, like, it's. Because well, just you walk can't, away. You can't, That's it's, the thing. It's, it's like, I was watching the video and you. Simple. It's not no, simple. No, it is, though. It is. It's, it's mm, not. It is. That's crazy. Actually, it, is. Not, it actually is. It's, it's, it's super not. It's. It, it's really I have is. walked away. I have walked away from every interaction I've ever had that has turned into something bad for everybody else around. You can walk away, right? But if someone's dead set. On assaulting you, sometimes you just have to deal with the problem. Yeah, but people aren't dead set on assaulting sometimes, you sometimes unless they not. know sometimes you personally, or if it's like a, sometimes no, but that's they're the thing, not. Like, that's true. That's very true. You're right. But then there are most times, times where they're it's, not. It's sometimes it's like it's a bad situation. Sometimes that you're just I, in I, like five percent of less cases. Often. Yeah, you're right. I, I agree. Because I'd argue most of these cases are completely like most of the like and most of the things that we're talking about, like when we talk about something like this, like on a random thing on a street. It's just pu- completely random. It's like that guy who fucking hit what's his face, Rick Moranis. Yeah, <laughs> like it's not like that guy didn't hit him because he was Mick Rick Moranis. He hit him because it was just like, hey, that's a random person. I feel like hitting this guy, which is crazy. But like that just happens. Yeah. So like, that shit is, dude, just walk away. Shit, but that shit is also doesn't happen. Needless, either, really. such <laughs> a. Ne- I remember watching. I watched that that the 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 security footage of that, and I'm like, dude, you could have. Just walk away, man. There's no reason for you to be there. Things get things get out of hand, and people get really the mad thing is, in the people moment. People don't have people don't have enough hostility towards strangers, or not hostility, but like people don't have enough bias towards strangers. You should be as biased as possible towards strangers, as in any context. I don't give a shit like what their race or gender is. If they if you don't know them, always assume the worst. I, I mean, always assume the I disagree really. with that, but uh, 100%. Really. I totally I disagree with absolutely. that. Absolutely. It's crazy because right. I was wrong at first, and then you somehow became way wrong than I did. <laughs> no, 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 man. You got to assume. It's like magical. Be, let me tell you something. If this, dude assume, if this dude assumed the worst of that guy, he'd be fine. No. He'd be fine. No. Because he, he would have walked away. He would have walked away. He would have been like, mm, I'm staying away from this guy who's kicking cars. That's the thing, too. It's like he was kicking random cars and shit. Clearly crazy, and then he walks up to him. I'm like, bro, that's stupid. You are dumb. That's stupid. You are dumb, stupid, and that guy, dumb. That guy's not from New York. That guy lives in New York. Uh, yeah, that guy lives in New York. That's exactly that's exactly what I thought. It was like when I saw that guy. It was like, oh, in Brooklyn. It's like, oh, where's he from though? 
Because in Brooklyn, like, in Brooklyn, no one's approaching anybody like that. Yeah, you're not. Unless you're gonna the rob fuck? that guy. Unless you're gonna rob that guy. But the, I don't yeah, know. New, four a, new, dude, new Brooklyn is different from Brooklyn old Brooklyn. At four a.m. is crazy. New dude, even modern Brooklyn at four a.m. is crazy. Nah, you like, even modern Brooklyn. Modern Brooklyn, regardless. Modern Brooklyn, stay far away from modern Brooklyn, dude, away from modern Brooklyn is so different. If anyone comes near you, not clearly not Kingston, because this dude got stabbed in broad four a.m. That was one of the last vestiges of that. That's why he's crazy. He's holding on the last vestiges of what Brooklyn was. That's why he's just. His brain yeah. is withering, but dude, Brooklyn is crazy. Because I remember, I remember growing up, <laughs> my grandma was like, "Yo, I was like, hey, we're gonna ride our bikes over to Brooklyn. We're gonna take the train, we're gonna ride our bikes over to Brooklyn, we're gonna hang out there." My grandma was like, "Be home before dark." And then that night, it was at least three people died. <laughs> three people died in the city. Now I was walking around Brooklyn at two o'clock in the morning with Lillian. <laughs> and, and nothing happened. We were getting Jamaican food and fucking eating stuff on the, on the streets. And they have like places to sit down proper. That is not the Brooklyn I remember growing up in. Brooklyn is nice now because Brooklyn was the worst borough growing up. It had the highest crime rates of any place in the country in the ninety four. In like the nineties, I still don't. I, I still don't believe that, man. I mean, you can look it up. They, it's not even hard. They to definitely look, had to gentrify because the nets. Like they they absolutely had to. You know, they're gonna well, the bring nets, the, the nets were over there before the nineties. No, the Nets were in New Jersey. The, yeah, the so Nets. They, the, no, yeah, the, no, I know which. No, I'm sorry. I thought you said the Mets. My oh, apologies. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. The, so, so yeah, they yeah, did. The Brooklyn, so the Brooklyn. They, 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 yeah, they got the Nets, so they had to clean that shit up. They had to like, like speed. They it had up. to clean. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. They had to accelerate. So Brooklyn. The thing. The, the reason why I don't believe that is like, here's the thing. I, okay. I know Brooklyn's really bad, right? But I think the Bronx was so bad that people just weren't talking about it. I think shit was going on in the Bronx that people were just like, I guess that happened, and they just wouldn't report anything, and then people would just deal with it. I, I, I think, think it was way worse in the Bronx, and that nobody paid attention to it because even people, even even people, the people who could have helped, didn't even want to go there the about because the it was Bronx, too far the thing away. About the Bronx is that the Bronx. The greater portion of the Bronx wasn't bad because it was the concourse where I grew up. It wasn't do you bad. remember? Do you remember in the Bronx where that fucking um, where that lion escaped the Bronx Zoo? Are you sure that wasn't Central? You sure that wasn't Coney Island? I mean, the, no, I Central swear Park? to God, it was it, it was the Bronx Zoo. I think it was Central Park, and it, Chris. A lion? No, I, I swear. Look it up right I now. Think it was Central, I think it was Central Park. In 1995, in 1995, a lion escaped the Bronx Zoo, got on the subway. That's crazy. And just sat in the subway car until it got to Madison Square, got out, and started massacring people as if to target Madison Square. It was crazy. <laughs> that sounds so... Um, <laughs> that sounds so <laughs> fake. That sounds so goddamn fake. It does. It's real. It must it's be real. fake. <laughs> no, it's real. Everybody everybody, listen to the podcast. Look it up right now. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to uh, find that Because I remember the lion people in the zoo in, 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 what's it called, in Staten Island. Not Staten Island. In, Staten in, in, Island's in, fake, in dude. I, so, oh, can I say this? I've been. I've, I started watching uh, what we do in the shadows recently, which I've seen the movie. Yeah, like there's a, there's a movie the by uh, I think the Jamaican. Yeah, I love that movie. That movie's yeah, great. It's, it's talking about it happening. It's not. It's not ninety five though, but it happened in two thousand one in uh, Central Park Zoo. Like I said, Central Park. Lion, lion escape. Oh, I, I was completely, I was completely making something. I, up. I, I was wait, telling wait, the wait. truth. I was like, "Oh, a lion did escape in Central <laughs> yeah. Park." I knew it. I knew it. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 a lion did yeah, escape Central in Central Park. Park. And I was like, "What the? F- it didn't hurt anybody. It didn't have just to really hurt anybody. I yeah, think might have got like one or two people, but like that—that's their fault." I believe Chris for like five <laughs> seconds, but then when he said it got on the subway, <laughs> it's pretty much <laughs> Alex from Madagascar. It actually made it to. It, it, <laughs> It went to MGM, bro. It made it to MSG. It went to MSG. It, it, went, to MSG. it went, to, went, went to Madison Square Garden. Uh, went through the turnstiles. It was really, it was really, like, it was walking upright all that time. When it got up, when it got up to the surface, when it got up to the surface, it had, like, a like a Yankee hat. It gets out. Start spreading the news. Hell yeah. Start I'm spreading today. the news. Yeah, the, uh, I want to be New York. Yeah, just the <laughs> rips in the no, 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 no. But, but, so, but, so, but so you brought up Staten Island, right? And so I, I wanted to bring this up because uh, so I, I saw the movie. I've seen the movie What We Do in the Shadows, and I, I love that movie. That movie's great. I knew there was a show for a while, yeah. but for some reason, I just, I don't know. I never got around to watching it. I just started uh, this last week. Dude, it is so fucking good. I can't believe how good that show is. I'm a huge fan of and Matt Berry. Matt Matt Berry's awesome in it. 
He's great, dude. He's so his the way his voice works is is fucking awesome. He's, like the way he says everything. He's so amazing. New you, York <laughs> City. Ew, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. You ever uh, you ever watched uh, the IT Crowd? Uh, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like he's the, in the IT Crowd. It's pretty much the only sitcom that I would actually with like the laugh track or whatever that I would recommend. It's a very short because it's British television, so it's very short, easily. Yeah, it's like three seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. He's so fucking good in that. He's so good in that fucking show. <laughs> He's great. There's an episode. You know what's great? There's an episode of Community where he, where in the last season, in season six, season where it's six. him. He's like a he's like a, a grifting professor, which is yeah. awesome for a number of reasons. <laughs> but like it's what's so great about that season, it's him and Keith David Keith in that David. season. So like Keith David and Matt Berry interacting is fucking wild. But Matt Berry is so fucking funny in that in this show. And they're in the, the whole pl- I, I can't remember what the movie was. It's been so long since I've seen it, but like they're in Staten Island, <laughs> which is fucking so perfect because I can't think of a better place for something like that to take place than Staten Island. This this sad, forgotten borough like that a, no one like pays silly attention vampires, to. Vampires, right? the best place to be is Staten Island. For like, for like they just want to play Brooklyn. I would say Brooklyn would be the best place for like non silly, like. Actual dangerous vampires to be is Brooklyn. <laughs> there's this joke where <laughs> silly ones where, fit perfectly at Staten Island. There's, like, this, yeah, live there's here. this joke. There's this joke about Matt Barry like turning a baby into a vampire, which is like totally like not. Uh, this is like very very against the rules. So there's like this. So, <laughs> the, the, they, there's this image of a 90 year old baby wandering in the Bronx, and it fucking killed me. <laughs> I I highly recommend if any there's five seasons of the show now. I, I'm still on season 1, but like if if anybody has not seen what we do in the shadows the show, if they're worried that it's not as good as the It's funnier the movie, probably. I, I highly recommend it. it. Good. I got to watch the I movie again cuz I got to refresh my memory, but like the movie's great, the show's fucking awesome. There's one guy in the uh, show that he's an energy vampire. So what he does, yeah, yeah. he just walks around and make he's a human. <laughs> but his power is that he psychically makes you want to die. Like, yeah, yeah. being around you makes you not want to be alive. Yeah, it's, <laughs> so a, it's a good show. So it's, it's, it's a good show. I, I, I really recommend it. I just, you brought up Staten Island, and it, it just kind of... <laughs> Just kind of reminded me of that, but let's let's see, let's move on. Let's get one more. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Start oh, man. spreading the news. Start spreading. Start the news. killing the. Ju- let's go. What? I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I thought that, and I didn't do it. I, I thought it when it. I was going to say, it, but I was like, no one's. Gonna, I'm not going to say that because that's not funny. Because they're going through a lot that's right Kanye, now. That's Kanye. That should <laughs> be Kanye. Did they? You know what the sad thing about that is? It's like I wish we could do something like that satirically, but it will just be adopted by awful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if, if we actually did like a Kanye West start killing the Jews <laughs> as like a joke, that would be funny. But then it would be it would be like the Offspring thing, yeah. or not the Offspring thing. Uh, um, 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 uh, uh, oh my God, bad religion. What the. Yeah, the bad religion thing where they're like the kids are all right, and then they're like, oh, "This is sick," and it's like, "Oh, based. fuck!" Yeah, it's based, <laughs> dude. Po- I swear to God, political, like, like people making politics their entire personality has ruined politics. What people can do for comedy, like sincerely, like it's there's so many jokes that pe- just aren't worth the trouble anymore because nobody knows how to chill. Right. Like, there was a time where, dude, like, I think, like, 10 years ago, we could have done that, and it would have been hilarious. Uh-huh. And no one would have even given us a problem about it. Uh, not 10 years ago. I think a little before that. 2013? Dude, are you kidding? That's that's many years before Comedy Shorts Gamer had that fucking intro <laughs> where he chloroformed a person. <laughs> like, it would have been totally fine. <laughs> but that's, many, that's, the, that's the line. Comedy Shorts Games made a thing about chloroforming a bitch, and no one got mad at him, so. I mean, dude, it's crazy. Like, dude, looking at that. Dude, I look at that, and I'm like, whoa. (laughs) That's funny. Comedy Shorts Raper here. Comedy, there ain't nothing funny about this. (laughs) It makes me so mad. It makes me so angry. That's that's what he should He should remaster remaster all of his old videos or whatever, like, (laughs) repost them, and then, like, have, like, a little, like, audio over over that over that section of every video I'm of like, hey, of, like sorry, the quarter four it's like funny. Uh, this is an example of what not to do <laughs> 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 so stupid hey good job oh Benji. my god where'd that nigga go find, like, uh, I haven't he seen died. him is he I, I feel like he is no he won he won his one fight he he's fell, been chilling he fell into a vat of acid and no one's seen him since. <laughs> what makes it crazy? What made it crazy is that he had like he had like his three fights, right? He had one fight, 
where he was in amazing shape. Like he got into like insane shape. And I was like, whoa, that's impressive. Oh, no. And then the second fight, he looked so bad. He looked so bad before the oh, fight. Oh, and he got all pudgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the first time, like he looked like he was in better shape than his brother. And I was like, this guy's in. He really put the work in. This uh, Didn't he fight Fousey Tube? Yeah, he fought Fousey. And he beat him, I think. Yeah, he did. Oh, he beat him. Before I, I forget know. this, this what, what, before what? I before I forget this, we got to bring up the fact that we predicted The Last of Us two on this show before it was out. <laughs> Not we. like some, I predicted it. You did. Verbatim. Well, <laughs> I you, led you did. You to did it though. You, we did lead you to it, but like <laughs> but, Kingston, Kingston did nail it right on the head. It's crazy. 100%. If you go back and listen to episode eighteen, which is the Katarino episode. It's a little awkward now because I've, I've met her and she's very nice. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you did more than meet her, though. Go, go back, on, go on. You, you, you were back. boyfriend number eight, Chris. That's right. You're boyfriend number eight or nine. <laughs> if you go back to that episode, uh, you leave that leave that silence in. By the way, if you keep that, if you go back to that episode. So we we retweeted it. So if you go back on our socials, you can find it. Us talking about it. If it's if you're listening to this recently, if not, go back to that episode. You'll find it. I'm sure. But we were talking about the Last of Us and like how effective it was at being sad, despite it being a video game. And like Kingston nailed it on like literally down to the detail of just like it it it. So you didn't guess a golf club. You guessed a baseball bat. But you did say basically that like oh, wouldn't it be crazy if Joel got neganed? Yeah, yeah, which is yeah, yeah. What happened? Bashed his which is fucking totally... head in. That shit made me. Still That's watching so that funny. still makes me laugh, bro. Like he got <laughs> his shit fucking juiced, bro. It sounded like somebody was stepping on gushers by the time it's, he was yeah, done. Yeah, it, it was a gushers funny commercial that, that you said that because cl- your intention was that it's so absurd. This is obviously a joke. This clearly is not what's gonna happen. This is not. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> fucking. It's so Lo funny. and behold. You think so? It's is, episode is eighteen. Neil many, many episodes Druckmann. ago. Is Neil Druckmann mm-hmm. a fan of the Snark Tank? Uh, I can't imagine that that's true. <laughs> <laughs> although, <laughs> although Neil Druckmann does know Colin, like Colin and Neil know each other, like proper. Okay. So the degree of separation is very small. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe we could mm. get him on. Do you think Sony PR would let that? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> so not. Yeah. Oh, we we'll probably have to um, unlist a few episodes, we, and then we could do it. Yeah, <laughs> we have to unlist ninety percent of our catalog, and then maybe, maybe we'll get a shot at getting Neil Druckmann on to ask yeah, him yeah. about why he chose to gusher Joel in the opening act of The Last of Us. I'd too. love to know the, that. Um, like, he got why did you think that was a good idea? <laughs> why did you think that was a good idea, you dumb bitch? Oh, yeah, I, mean, I, thought, like, I, I think what, him what, dying what, what was a good idea. It's the way to let up to it. Well, the thing that's that the, what what makes it crazy is how quick because like the yeah. jo- the part that's, of the joke that's that the problem. part of what we joked about was like wouldn't it be funny if in the beginning of the next game right. that happens because that's ridiculous. It would be fine if it led up to that, but it was just so immediate, and you're like, all right, well, that's the thing. It's like okay, you had one game prior, and the reason why people liked that game was him, not not Ellie. No, people like people were like Ellie's fine. But it wasn't like, oh man, this game would suck without her. No, I actually, All right. actually. Well, no, I, I think the relationship think between them is what made it. What made it scary was the relationship between right. them. Right, and you know? I think Ellie's role well, is I'm interchangeable. Uh, I like the relationship between these characters. I, I did. I'm that was gay. what everybody liked about it. You no know what? I like this yeah, Joel for being Joel. My like, favorite part. My favorite part of The Last of Us was shooting a person in the leg and watching them fall and bleed out slowly. Yeah, dude. That was my favorite part of The Last of Us. <laughs> my favorite part is when you get to kill the dogs. I like, when you the, uh, <laughs> I like when you kill the brown surgeon in the first game, and then he turns white in the second game. That's yeah, my yeah, yeah. To, make it, to make him more sympathetic. <laughs> That's crazy. Which is bro. wild. If you, re- if, you, if you really think about that, if you really think about that for like even a, a handful of seconds. The show went the other direction. The show went the other direction. It made Ellie it like, black so he'd care about he her more. So, no, they, made, they made a daughter black so he'd care about her more. Yeah, yeah, He was so killable in the first game when he was black. But now... <laughs> Uh, now we need him to be a good character, so we're gonna make <laughs> we're gonna make him. It really is wild if you. It, so cool. but, I love that. What a missed opportunity for diversity, man! I don't understand. That's what it is weird. About. Yeah, it's that's it's, so it, crazy. It is, it is very bizarre. It's yeah, such a head scratching um, moment. But but whatever. I did, I did love I did love killing the dogs as well. Um, <laughs> I hate killing dogs in the games. thing about the thing about that Call game of Duty is because you can break it, their necks. It's so funny. That's true, yeah. Dude, the, the way, thing about dude, Call of Duty. Have you guys have you guys played Mercenaries in uh, in Resident Evil Four recently? No. 
Not recently. I tried it out when it when uh Bro, when it was new, so you but play I, as the, I forget what the name of the guy is, the guy with the mask on, the one that heck his his uh, ultimate is he has like infinite ammo. But if you shoot the someone mask? in the arm and they do like the flanked arm thing, he goes and he snaps someone's neck and he stays in frame a little oh, too long. Hank, Hank, you're talking about Hank, right? And I'm like, it's I don't know. Hunk, or Hunk? Husk? Hunk? 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 I think it's probably, probably, probably Hunk. 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 Probably Hunk. Res- I, Resident Evil Hank. Because there's Hunk and Tofu. Oh, yeah, it's Hunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunk. hunk Sorry. Yeah. I, I read it as Hank for some reason. Dude, oh, wait, the tofu? way he uh, right? snaps Am I fucking... someone's oh. neck, and it's funny when it's like one of the women. So he goes, he grabs it, and he snaps the neck, and he's just in frame for a little too long. And he puts his <laughs> hands down. And I'm it like, is really funny. Like, yeah, he, he slowly lowers his hand. He slowly. Lo- that's a fun mode, to be honest. Like, it's, it's, it's well, pretty it's amazing. Not bad. I play it regularly. Right. I can't it's, wait it's for Mercenaries and Resident Evil 5 new remake. <laughs> bro, Sheva, the Red Red Riding Hood Sheva, bro. <laughs> so let's let's get this last question out of the way. Okay, right? let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I can't wait for 5, bro. I'm so excited I'm so for 5 excited. remake, bro. I'm so, I'm excited. so excited. I didn't really like Wesker's voice that they showed at the end of 4. I'm be honest. I didn't like it. I didn't like that, but other than that, I'm still I'm, I'm on board. Chris, though. you know what we gotta do, Chris. Me and you have to stream all of five together. Oh, you know, what, you know what we have to do. We all have to stream that together. We have to play that whole game for one day. So we when it comes out, the day it comes out, like the Friday, we all come together and we have to beat that game in one sitting. It might be too uh, racist of a let's play. Resident Evil Five? Yes, in one sitting. We will we will uh, record it. We will stream it. We will sit down. We will play the whole <laughs> game together. I will do if that because I'm would, so be, dirty be, at that game, bro. I'd be down to do it. Yeah, I, I'm down. We could do it like a, almost like the inside gaming guys would do it, where they would have like uh, two people would two people would play, and then the other person would like kind of like improv and riff with the, with the people. I always <laughs> I always love that formula the way they did the, the, shit, way they did the shit. shit that that's gonna yo that's gonna be such a legendary. I would be down, I would be down to do something like that. Like why not? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. It's gonna be legendary, but it's gonna be like we're gonna have to put it on Patreon only because the shit we're gonna say is gonna be. <laughs> but crazy. we got the thing is like we gotta we gotta all be in the same room for that. Right, like, that's, we'll that's, be around. Right, we're, we got to be in the same room for that. We're in talks about um, what I'm going to do is probably, probably we'll do figure, it at my place because we'll yeah. my place is big. It, it's big enough for us all to be here, and it's small enough that it wouldn't get too out of hand having us be there at the same time. If that makes any sense, what are you like, it's about? perfectly what? sized. I guess, yeah, like, like my penis. All right, let's go. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's get this uh, Minus last question big. out of the way. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> dear Mitch, Mitchell H. Road, and he says, Dear Sex, Spite, and Unpredictable. First time mm. patron. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Uh, but been listening since episode zero released. Oh, wow. If you could add any existing fictional character to a TV show, uh, what character would it be and what show? I would add Shot Uncle Ben to Always Sunny in Philadelphia and do an episode <laughs> where Frank shoots him. <laughs> Not the first time. Uh, not the first yeah. time he enters the show as, as uh, Shot Uncle Ben, but he leaves the show as Shot Uncle Ben. I, uh, yeah. So I love this premise because f- I'll, any of the Always Sunny characters in any other show would would cause such a would be so that's so drastic of a ch- like I would love to see Frank Reynolds in like The Walking Dead or something. Oh you my know what god! I mean? Where, like, oh my god! That'd be so fucking amazing. <laughs> that'd it would be, be so, so amazing. He would kill so everybody. Good. He would really kill everybody. He would like turn on everybody, like in in, in the drop of a dime. The drop of a dime. He'd be like, <laughs> he's so amazing. Like yeah. Michelle would be like, Frank, help me out. He'd be like, yeah. As a matter of fact, chocolate lady, and he'd shoot her in the back. I gotta get out of here, and he'd let me hobble off. He would never. So, get anyways, killed. I started blasting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah, that's, a, that's I love a, that. That's a fucking fantastic idea right there. That's a great I would answer. love to have Jon Snow inside of uh, inside of Parks and Rec. That is insane. <laughs> so Parks, just how would that even? You, that, so that would just be, be such a fuse. But it'd be Jon Snow after he woke up from the dead. So he'd wake up there and he'd be like, Walter White I? and Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Walter White on, on Barney. <laughs> <laughs> I want fucking uh, Mike Armentrout as Zordon. That'd be fucking dude. great. Oh my god, Mike Armentrout. Dude, Walt Jr. Rangers. in the Power Rangers. <laughs> oh my god. How? Dude, Walt Jr. in Cobra Kai. It is morphing <laughs> time. Oh my god. I love the idea of I love the idea of him in a Power Ranger suit. Like, but st- he still has the crutches. 
<laughs> no, he's fine with it. He has his moment. He has his moments where he's. I'm not gonna do. It. I'm not gonna do it. Tyrannosaurus. He has moments where he, he his body reacts violently. So he's like he's good, and then there are moments where he's just like ah, and he does whatever he does. I'm not gonna reenact it, but like that kind of stuff. Rangers, <laughs> yeah. Where's, I'm trying to think of uh, where's maybe Alpha? like Uncle Ruckus, Uncle Ruckus in Subumafu or something. Like I don't know. There's That's like so crazy. many. There's, we had There's a good so... thing going, Rangers. <laughs> we had a good thing going. But you oh, and your greed, you greed and your you arrogance. arrogance. <laughs> Uncle Ruckus <laughs> and like. Rangers. Uncle Ruckus. What is, what did oh we my do? god, Riley Freeman on like the Teletubbies. <laughs> Yo, Riley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calling them Riley over. anywhere. Riley anywhere. Ry- no, no, no. Riley Freeman and Code Lyoko. Dude. <laughs> That, because not only would that work, like aesthetically speaking, because it's cartoon to cartoon, but yeah. he would tear that place asunder, man. Like he's so that, disrespectful, bro. It's crazy. Right. He's such a disrespectful it's kid. We oh my this for god, hours. Free, Frieza <laughs> yeah, in the right. Boondocks. Did you say Frieza in the Boondocks? But he's deep power. He has no powers. It's not a TV show, but I think Frieza on Joe Rogan would go hard. I think Frieza on. I think Frieza. Have you Frieza seen that? Started, Have you seen that yet? Have you seen the AI? I did of that? see. Uh, so I did see it after I tweeted Frieza. So I tweeted Frieza would make an excellent podcaster. Like he he would be like a very popular podcaster. And then I saw that somebody tweeted that image of of him on Joe Rogan. Oh my god! I thought god. it was so fucking funny. It's like, dude, he would he would make a killing. He would make a killing. Like everybody would support him. Be like, man, this guy's really telling it how it is. He's like, monkey, monkey, monkey. He'd be like, if Frieza, used the N-word. If Frieza came to Earth, found out what the N word meant. He would use that word for sure. Easily, yes. He would be like, oh, that's like, no yeah. question. No question. They remind me of no Saiyans. question about it. Did you see people like complaining that Frieza was racist? Did you see that? Is that? Is that like people? People people were like upset that like man people pe- like uh, or somebody was like Frieza's my favorite villain. I love Frieza, and then people were like, "How could you love a racist character?" And it's like, he's a villain. Yeah, he's I a mean, bo- one of my favorite he's- characters is a huge <laughs> piece of shit. I think Jamie Landers is one of the best reign characters of all time, and he sucks. I mean, dude, villainous villainous characters are mm-hmm. awesome because they're bad. Yeah. That's Jamie's like the not whole a villain, point. Though. Like Jamie's not exactly a villain. though. he he. He's no, kind he's a of useful villainous. idiot. He's a useful idiot. I don't say idiot. He's he's, he's well, villainous. He's def- I mean, he. You didn't read the like, books, so you don't, you don't know. You don't know everything, but yeah, he's in the. You don't, in you the, don't know the source material. Even the main you know, plot this points. Is the he's same a fucking, fucking useful idiot. D- it's the same well, thing no, with he's, Spider. He's, it's the same thing with every comic book conversation. Well, you haven't read the source. He's a material. little different. He's different in the books, but not radically. Yeah, he's still him, Jamie Lannister. I, mean, I don't know being, Jamie Lannister. He tries the, harder to be good in the books, though. He really tries. Is Jamie Lannister? Um. He makes a solid effort to try, but he still fucks up all the time. He's gay. Too. Anyway, Granted. anyway, we could we could keep adding people to TV shows for hours. So we're yeah. gonna we're gonna nip this in the bud. Pee Wee Herman uh, and fucking it's, Nash. It's morphin time. Right? <laughs> it's morphin time. Well, it's doing Mash. It's morphin time. Everybody's Wolf. fucking upset and dying and fucking numb. They got they got rot foot. They, what is it called when their foot soaks so Gangrene? much? Gangrene. They got they got they got long. Oh, foot. trench. Oh, trench, trench foot. foot. Trench, trench foot. foot. <laughs> they got trench foot. Pee like ah, trench foot. That was the word of the day. And all the things start coming out dancing. They're like so all annoyed. Right. Like oh my god, why is this guy in here? My granddad's <laughs> there. My granddad's like here? I really want to die. I don't want to be here no more. <laughs> Cheer up. Cheer up, so <laughs> All right, we gotta go. All right, all right. All right here's, here's the, that's 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 the signal. <laughs> the camera's the signal. going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, mustard gas. Agent <laughs> Orange. Dude, huh? <laughs> dude, did you see that they used fucking white phosphorus? Yes. They're, of course remember, they did. I, remember, I over, can't, over, it's, over over there. The Geneva Convention is just a suggestion. Yeah, <laughs> the Geneva suggestions shit. is what they're famously yeah. called. Yeah, dude. Uh, we, 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 and we lost still. Isn't that crazy? Hey, man, don't. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> we still lost. I don't know. Everything we tried to do, they just still did anyway. We still that lost. People like lost their lives. History dude. to me. Sounds like revisionist little history to me. You better read up on your fucking material, Gaylord. <laughs> let's Sorry. move on. Uh, let's, we let's, won. Let's, we always win. All right, that's it. We're at two hours. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> we we're won gonna... Vietnam. <laughs> I guess they're screwed. 
the the lights go off and like a little trigger comes out. He comes. He wheels in. He wheels in. He wheels in a couch made out of. He wheels in a couch made out of the skin of Vietnamese children. And it and it and it starts talking. And it still has teeth. It has teeth. It has. It has. It's. It has like um. You know how in Dragon Ball when people fuse, it has like two voices in the same. Yeah, yeah. It's got like. But it's a lot of kids' voices. It's got like seventy. It's got like seventy different voices. It's like Pee Wee set me free. Set burn me, me free, burn me, Pee Wee. Please, only fire can kill me, Pee Wee. <laughs> no, <laughs> we run fair and square. <laughs> All right, <laughs> this is fucked up. Okay, let's end the podcast. Let's 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 <laughs> a lovingly crafted animation of Arthur Morgan skinning a grape with surgical tools as he violently weeps and prays to Allah. Wow. <laughs> that was a mouthful, man. Why do you have right. a song in your bedroom? <laughs> you- say your prayers, little cum. Don't forget my cum to include every cum. I tuck you in warm semen till the Sandman he comes. <laughs> Sleep. Enter gay man. That's the next one. You got oh a rice God. cake for Enter gay man. Because I'm, cause I'm eating eating healthier. He's pouring There's salt no all over his fucking... There's no <laughs> peanut butter you. on it even. Because I don't need all that extra protein, sir. Are you eating a bread sandwich? What is <laughs> yeah, that? Oh it's, a, oh, it's a rice cake. It's just a rice cake. You don't got no peanut butter on that thing, bro. Sounds wrong. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's... Uh, where was I? All I need is salt. Only need salt. I'm the man with the cock Just by salt. Alice in Chains. Nice. Oh, Same Alice in Gaze. Nice. Uh, <laughs> lyrics and bio. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I am so gay. I'm so gay. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to suck some penis down. He came directly into my brown. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. In my brown. I am Whoa. so gay. <laughs> That's lyrics right there. John he Guido the Fourth. <laughs> I listened to every episode of the Snark Tank podcast, and all I got was this lousy dick. Transfem and sad in a chemistry uh, PhD program. Uh, would you read it on the podcast if I left the high speed lyrics from Rapgate in the Patreon comments? Love Seaman C- M. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would add like an entire three minutes to the show. Like, no, yeah. for one name, no. The only, the only saving grace, the only reason I'm even entertaining the idea to read all your names out in the first place is because Patreon limits your names to only be so long. They're still long, but god damn it, at least it's limited. If I started taking comments into account, and fuck no, no way, we'd be here forever. That would be the whole show at a certain point. Hello, Chris. In front of you, there is a vice grip. Considering you've seen the hole cut in your pants, you know what to do. Uh, Imagine a single flaming hot Cheeto stuck in your urethra. Imagine. (laughs) Imagine. This is just a wonder. Imagine there's there's a hot Cheeto Cheeto. (laughs) in your urethra. Oh, that really hurts. Imagine all the Oh, Negroes. that really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this flaming hot Cheeto in me, little pee hole. <laughs> Ringo, suck it out. <laughs> all right, let's... <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd rather like the taste of hot Cheetos out of the urethra, if I'm quite honest. I think I it tastes them. fairly good. That's how Marin sounds. That accent, man. That accent, man, is crazy. He does not sound like that. <laughs> Liverpool's I think wild. it would be a lot funnier if he did, but... Uh, listening to Sweeney makes me consider racism. Me too. Baller of the first sin. There goes my homo. Watch him as she blows. Gape with aid of the machine. What? I don't even know what that... I, I don't know. Two episodes remaining. Be afraid. We're not going to touch... Uh-oh, what he's dead. is this? We're not. We're not gonna touch tits. We're not gonna there touch tits. There it is. No, we're, we're not, not gonna, gonna touch, touch tits. tits. <laughs> we're, we're not, not gonna, gonna touch, touch tits. It. We love balls. 
That's pretty good. That but it's crazy. Crazy. That's the, there we you go. are gonna suck dick. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. way better. We're yeah. gonna, gonna suck, suck dick. dick. <laughs> We are we gonna, are suck, gonna dick. suck dick Till it comes. and some balls or something and some whatever. Ball, cra- yeah, yeah, something. We'll figure. We'll workshop it. Yeah. Jolly old dipshit, Johnny <laughs> Silvercock, Cyphergraph, Ball Twister Machine. If you like, pe- God, my throat is empty. It, get dry here. If you like penis a lot at getting cock in the rain, if you're not into yo girl and you love anal pain, the okay. only Snark Tank patron to both have justifiably and verifiably shot and killed not just one but two people. Uh, uh, What's is the story? This, hey, I don't know. Is this the real life? Is this... T- <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. Is this the real life? Is this just man pussy <laughs> caught in his ass tight? No escape from this side of me. <laughs> Let's go. It's not bad, honestly. It's really well written, to be, to be completely honest. Well done rhyme in there. Fantasy and man pussy is pretty fucking good. That's you, yeah. A plus right there. Pretty good. Um, that's workable for sure. However, Mama. it's Bohemian Rhapsody and I refuse to touch it. I, uh, I pay $25 a month to say it with the voice. Adrian gets a glass. Adrian, get a glass. I want to see it. I still don't know what that means. What is that? Am I missing a reference with that? Uh, Adrian, I don't know if that, I have no idea. I, I don't know, Adrian. Sporting. Like I just all I know is that get a glass. I want to see. It just sounds like the you know that Japanese table thing where they shit on the tables. The you know what I'm talking about the Japanese business dudes would sit on they would lay under a table and then like they would have the escort shit on top of the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's standard. Yeah, it, yeah. It's def- yeah. definitely standard. I've that's I have every many glass Wednesday tables for me. in my house. In fact. That's- <laughs> that's crazy that's crazy that is great that's, like that has honestly been like of all the fetishes in my in, in that i've ever seen that has been the one that has completely confused me on every level where i'm like I, look man you need to be probably i'm not gonna say you need to be killed but i feel it <laughs> anyway um let's let's move on uh sweeney like my weenie tr- trans trans porn stars chromosomes xy what trans porn stars penis into dis- what, wait, what is this song? What is this? <laughs> Tra- trans porn stars, chromosomes, oh. XY. <laughs> trans porn stars. Trans porn stars, penis in disguise. That's so uh, fucking that's so, that's, that's so that took a, that's, That took a second. Oh, fuck. It that's, hit me. The second it hit me, it, 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 it got that me. That goes pretty hard. Um, the half gay troglodyte that is in Chris's closet. Help! Pretty good. Come in my ass! You're drilling me! You're drilling me! All I want is your ooze. Caucasian container. The crackle barrel for gays. Tidfoil tyrant. Learning voodoo with magic to keep Diane Feinstein in office. Putting blackface on my light bulbs. Uh, guys, the crazy frog song has four billion views. Sweeney, 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 swallow up my peeny. Uh, BC sings. Weren't you the one who tried to fuck in my intestines? You think you'd bend over? Think you'd spread my ass out wide? Mm. I don't know. It's getting harder and harder for me to read. My mouth is like drying out. She pipkin on my pippa. Possum is better at skating. Uh, listening to you, um, breathe, but gay. <laughs> oh come on! What? But when I fuck you, I can cream so much better, harder than before with my ass in the air. Nice, great. Okay, this is a song that? I wrote a long time ago. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks. That's awesome. That's every awesome. time, every time you say L, uh, JFG, I think of the YouTuber JFJ. I don't know who that is. I, I, G, JFG. Uh, John I, Francois I, I, Garapé. I think is that the only about? thing that I could. Yeah, that's the only thing I can. Th- I guess maybe. Francois yeah. Garapé. Um, Jean said, I do not care you is you as long as you are subscribed to the Snark Thank Patreon. Oh, thanks, JF. Thanks for joining us today. No problem, <laughs> Chris. I love your show because it is better than everything I've ever done. And I am sad and I kill my wife. I kill her. I shoot her in head in the back of the woods. Uh, that's crazy, JF. Wow. That's crazy that you would come in here and join us in the middle of our credits mm-hmm. to admit to that. Or is there anything else you'd you'd like to say uh, specifically to the audio listeners because the video listeners know you're not actually here it's like yes i do uh i also fuck we do not have kids i make them up for tax purposes and to confuse the government that's crazy all right bye jf thanks for joining us that's that was jf uh, garapay he just joined in in the middle right when he was brought up that's crazy 
Very nice. Uh, that was great. Best really conversation yeah. we had. Yeah. There. yeah, don't watch the video though because uh, there's something something's weird about it. Some like he doesn't. Yeah. His, his video doesn't. His video doesn't show up in the video version, and for whatever reason, when he talks, there's like an audio glitch where it's making my mouth. It syncs my mouth to what he's saying. So uh, yes, it, it's best if you listen to the audio and not watch the video because the video is going to be confusing for you. Okay. Uh, just just let you guys know. Agree with that. Yeah, just yeah, give okay. it up. Continue. Average, continue. Average continue. Clint continue. Give it up. I, I hope, I hope <laughs> Sween. What I hope up? Sween gets spin facts. I hope Sween gets vitil, vitiligo. <laughs> oh yeah, we can get vitiligo one day. Yeah, I'd, be, I'd kill Sween's, myself. Actually, I take my own life. What did I say last time? You look like a gateway computer. Yes, uh, that was they, a good one. They should, that was, that was they should make pedos wear GoPros in prison so you can see what happens to them. I think that would be neat. Star Coffee on Twitch, bitch. The cool, refreshing taste of a 45 in my mouth. Been blowing loads of guys <laughs> in a gay man's... <laughs> I've been blowing loads of guys living in a gay man's paradise. Let's... <laughs> Not Taking bad. dongs of every size, living in the gay man's paradise. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty penis good. Penis and oh, some bussy. Bussy and some good. penis. Semen <laughs> after semen. <laughs> Even outrageous. on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Everybody's dude, fucking. I, dude, that, dude, honestly. That would be a good one to do. <laughs> gay man's paradise. Coolio's death was like crazy, but like I'm from the east, so I was like, dang. That's unfortunate. <laughs> But like, now we're free to do no, it like, because he's not gonna. Yeah. He's not gonna because he 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 was he was so upset at Weird Al for doing that Amish Paradise, <laughs> but now he's dead, so he can't be upset at us. What makes yeah. it fucked up is that Gangsta's Paradise is like a song about a serious struggle, and then like Weird Al made Amish Paradise is a complete fucking mockery of that song. <laughs> That's the thing. That was the thing that made it. Fucked I mean, up. Most, like, I mean, there's a lot of songs that are personal to the people who write them. You know what I mean? It's like it doesn't really. It doesn't mean they can't it's be just made like, hilarious. He was like I really made this song about like my hood and like that, and then like all of a sudden, it now makes like a very silly version. Like he, it had no ill intentions, but it was just like, oh man, <laughs> it fuck must be you, frustrating. Weird Al. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Turning lots of butter. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> uh, but what I love about that song too is like that video is really impressive to me because he has that whole backwards sequence where he like lip syncs the song in reverse. So, I love I that. I think that's yeah. that's genuinely like damn. That's like fuck. That's like really. That's really hard to do. Yes, something's really impressive so, when I can't figure out how to do it right away. When I'm like, yeah, well, I know. Oh, I need. I, I yeah, need yeah. to think about this. And yeah, you have to like really think. It's like damn. You have to memorize the song in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> that's I don't know, man. That's it's a lot. Shout out to Weird Al and Dead Coolio. Uh, Transfem <laughs> Gremlin uh, <laughs> exposing people with lactose intolerance to 90 million rotogens of ionizing radiation. Yush, not Vin Pen. Um, the Angelic DM, my Anaconda don't want none unless you got nuts, hun. Craig the Canadian, nice, Richard nice. Fisting will never give the Snark Boys, uh, f- will never forgive the Snark Boys for not asking Jack about the top 10 farts video. I didn't I didn't know about that video. I'll, we'll ask him next time. <laughs> I don't remember it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's your boy Shawnee. Well, it's your boy Shawnee D. I'm sure I'll see him soon. Uh, Derek. This is your last warning. Stop coming in my pancake batter. Uh, school shootings right, bro. prove white people are the best at AOE damage. Uh, ben and Jerry's Funky Monkey. Dracula Flow. Got that Pinocchio dick. Tell my bitch I'm faithful. Then I fed fuck her like I meant it. <laughs> that's awesome. I don't know if that's actual Dracula Flow, but that sounds fucking pristine, dude. That's that, le- that's that, that is, level, you know? That's that right. level, man. You could write for Dracula Flow. You should apply. <laughs> Tell my bitch I'm faithful, then fuck her like I mean got, it. I got that Pinocchio dick. Tell my bitch I'm faithful, then I fuck her like I meant it. <laughs> Yo, Dracula Flow is just a crazy... Like, that man needs to be fought, but no one can beat him, you know? Absolutely He's unbeatable. <laughs> He's an unbeatable feller, for sure. Um... I still haven't gotten this call, which is concerning. Slurping, stroking, smoking, joking. Uh, 3XO buying Raycons in 2020 and them shocking my ear and ceasing function shortly after the warranty expired. Emoticons going like this. Morning Owlet, Keith David, Drip MH, Return of Drip. Keith David voice, Private Allen, hurry up and put your balls in my ass. Uh, Obi, won't you blow me? Dox me, <laughs> stalk it. me, dox me, my friend. Stalk me, stalk me again. Uh, Rate oh, me yeah. by Nirvana, sung by Jax Films. Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> sung by uh, Jax Films? Uh, is that what you said? Yeah, dox me. 
Stalk me. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Uh, I'm a dog. I'm biting at the fart bubbles in the back. Gay piece. Uh, uh, oh, fucking dope. police coming hard as I thrust and pound. Abby, give it all by rise against. I suck them down. Now there's a reason why I cream. Uh, Gadio, mm-hmm. Gadio head creep tune. Oh Gadio man, head. I'm I'm a so queer. Maybe. That's I'm Oasis. A F word. <laughs> God damn it. What the hell <laughs> am I busting in? And baby. <laughs> I'm a queer. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I busting in? Wage Slate 583. I feel gay. Fuck you. The Papini Brothers Emporium of Realistic Cami and Chun-Li Thigh-Shaved Neck Pillows. Self-tightening soul separately. <laughs> Donk Donkerson. Quiet Pupil. Uh, you got to pay the troll soul to get in the boy's hole. Gate 6. I'm him. Mm-hmm. I've been him. I will continue to be him. Let's all go down on penis. I'm gay. I'm gay. Let's all go down on dick and balls and come inside our overalls. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Tell him, Steve, Dave. He's venting. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> uh, a mean lesbian. I'm high on 12 Jason Bournes looking to beat the cum out of a thick, fresh oak. John Strickland. Armored whole sex. Fires of rubbing cocks. Merc eight, Merc's 1889. I must be Osama the way I tally these bands. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, that's fire. That's good. That's, that's a good fucking fire, That's a bro. good bar, man. I got to say, that's sick. That's good. Fucking I'm sure, fire, that bro. I need to like, make sure it's wanna, not stolen. I, yeah, I don't want to give you too much credit because that could be stolen, but like if it, if that's not stolen, then damn, dude. Yeah. That's we don't be biting fire. people's shit, bro. We don't be biting people's shit, so we'll you don't find got, out. You got, like, if you made that, that is up, very you're good. special. You're that's special, very good. and I don't believe any of our fans are that special. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. Well, First search of Keith David bands. featuring a sick beat Coming created by the looping you, video of that horse falling you, uh, off a bridge. Uh, women who can't that. speak give the best heads. Then mouth's got to be good for something. pre Raz, Blake 896, Hideo Kajama screaming the N-word at the top of his lungs while promoting Death Stranding 2. Getting suspended nice. from school for mispronouncing that one African country. Trish from accounting. Alaskan oil field trash. Texas tater salad. I drank her piss out of another man's balls. Sue Hulk. Tickle my ass hairs. Mm. Nikki Ziggy. Chris, it's me, Marcus, mm-hmm. again. I know you are still in a coma, but I need you to get your eight-foot-tall ass back in the fight emoticons going like this ramirez last condom make it count uh jackson nice. dupont badly brave hugger Derek duck hunt cat uh cut cutterack final gods of uh final god of gains uh, uh ethereum progerian hunter melfus won the angriest crowd on his way to texas i'm coming for you you know who you are and is always running out of our list king of haphazard woo woo let's get the ramirez. fuck out of here i'm hungry come fuck my i'm ass. so hungry Come fuck my I'm ass, starving. Ramirez. I just woke. I literally woke up immediately to do this. So I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Punk ass. <laughs>